Reggie White having an outstanding season. 14 sacks to his credit. Many are trying to convince him to keep playing as we come back in to talk a bit more about this game. Final thoughts starting with Chris. Packers can run the football in this game, and they have to against the Minnesota Vikings. If the Packers win today, Derek Holmes will become a household name around the country. Two guys to keep an eye on today. John Randall for the Minnesota Vikings moving up and down the line on Ross Gerber. Also, Reggie White playing in left defensive end and also dropping him on the nose. Should be two great matchups, two great all pros. I talked to Randall Cunningham. He'd be the number one sought after free agent, five to six million dollars a year. He wants to stay here and said he'd be gladly to get, he'd be glad to get part of his salary to keep Bill Belichick here in Minneapolis. Also, Winita Long, my kid's grandmother, my wife's grandmother, ill in the hospital. Our prayers with her. Vikings recognize the challenge today, trying to knock off the Packers. They got a short work week with Dallas coming up on Thursday. They recognize what's in front of them. All right, for those of you who are getting an early game your game is coming up next for others we'll send you back to los angeles where you will join joe buck and ron pitts vikings packers coming up next from the way companies process information to the way they share information from the way they create ideas to the way they sell ideas Secure old customers, attract new customers, use devices to extend their business, leap ahead of someone else's business. At Sun, our technologies power the net for business. We're the dot and dot com. What can we dot com for you? Showtime. Welcome to the big leagues. Introducing the new Energizer Advanced Formula. No battery lasts longer. Hi, Tom Bodette. Well, this is what I looked like back when I was new. And this is a new room at Motel 6. When I was new, a new room at Motel 6. Cute, huh? I'm Tom Bodette, and we'll leave the light on for you. Is your dandruff sending the wrong signals? Get Selsun Power. Doctors recommend Selsun Blue number one. So don't send the wrong signals. Get Selsun Power. The Porsche Boxster is assembled much the same way on original roadsters. The Spiders were assembled by human hands. Makes you wonder who builds other sports cars. The Boxster. Once again, there is no substitute. Mulder's in trouble. Big trouble. In the Bermuda Triangle. You've been caught in some kind of time war. Anything can happen. I want you to do me a favor. Either you do it or I kill you. I think there's been a mistake. It's the biggest episode yet with the moment you've been waiting for. So in case we never meet again. The X-Files. An all-new episode tonight at 9, 8 Central on Fox. Minnesota. As you look inside that dome, the Hubert Humphrey Metrodome, the home of the Vikings, as they get set to entertain the Green Bay Packers. The rematch. The Vikings overwhelm the Packers in their meeting, in their first meeting this year. Minnesota leads the NFC Central 9-1. Green Bay is 7-3. It's a must-win for them. I'm Pat Summerall with John Madden. And John, a lot of people still don't seem to believe that Minnesota is as good as their record. I'll tell you, I believe that they're that good. And, and when you talk to the Vikings and players and coaches and you're around here and you watch your practice, you can just feel their confidence. And they should have confidence because the last time they played, they beat the Green Bay Packers at their place. They have the best record in the division. They have the best record in the conference. The conference, and I think they're coming in with that kind of confidence. And I think Denny Green feels that they can do the same thing that they did last time. They have those three great wide receivers. They have Randall Cunningham, who's out. Look what they did to him last time. I think they think that they can do the same type of thing 
blockbuster running Robert Smith. And then Denny Green says on defense, he said we have to get after Brett Favre and not let him get into a rhythm. And the Packers seemed a little unsure when we talked with them last night. In fact, they didn't exude confidence in any way, did they? Well, you know, because there are a couple of games behind, and Mike Colton was saying that the last time that they played Minnesota, they were beaten so badly that the first thing he did when they started their game plan this week is he went in and he told both of his coordinators, don't do what we did last time. That thing didn't work. So on offense, they're thinking, we don't want to go after the home runs. We just want to go after Chunk. You know, just get first downs, move the chains, keep their offense off the field. And then, of course, on defense, they have to get after Randall Cunningham. And they have to do it with a four-man rush in a zone. They're not going to do a lot of blitzing, and they aren't going to play a lot of man-to-man -man defense. And coming up, it's the Green Bay Packers and Minnesota Vikings from the Metrodome. And John and I'll be back for the opening kickoff. When Fox NFL Sunday continues after this message is from your local station. Physical. Every position, be physical. Be physical. Three. One, two, three. Be physical. Awesome NFL coverage and John Madden. Log on to FoxSports.com. Dodge Ram was the first and is still the only full-size pickup to be ranked most appealing by J.D. Power & Associates. It was the first to offer a 10-cylinder engine, and it was the first quad cab. And now, for the first time, we're offering $1,000 back on the truck that changed the rules. But hurry, this is one first that won't last. $1,000 cash back on 98 Rams ends November 9th. Very good this year. I worked hard and I helped around the house. So I wanted a digital camera. Uh, a 400 megahertz computer. DSS with a billion sports channels. And a big screen TV. <laughs> so what do you think? The latest toys for big girls and boys. Best Buy. Now that's a great gift idea. We've been really, really good this year. Just ask our kids. <laughs> Toyota Sharp Deals, cheap on trucking. Save big on the 99 Toyota Tacoma. Rugged, reliable, and loaded. Now get a special low lease on a new Tacoma for just $149 a month. $149. With air conditioning, AM, FM cassette, and more. When the road stops, Tacomas keep on going. Now's the best time for Sharp Deals. So sharpen up and head to your Toyota dealer now. I am everyday people. On the next Seinfeld. Hey, Dave. Seinfeld, Monday at 7.30 on Fox 29. You're watching Fox NFL Sunday. The return of the week is brought to you by E-Trade, the number one rated online broker. They say one man's misfortune is another man's game. Last Sunday, a Colts missed field goal spelled jackpot for the Jets. This 104-yard treasure would land New York in the record books, topping Philadelphia's previous mark of 101 yards. He's got a wave across the 50, gets a block after a missed field goal. He goes off 104 yards. Investing is about to change forever. Introducing the new E-Trade, the number one rated place to invest online. Now open free to the public with 10 times more research, more tools, more power, free real-time quotes. Still from just $14.95 a trade. Call 1-800-E-Trade-1 to find out why. Someday, we'll all invest this way. Did you know that when you buy McDonald's Chicken McNuggets, you get these wonderful mechanically embroidered white napkins at no extra charge? And you'll need lots of napkins because these golden McDonald's Chicken McNuggets come with any one of four dipping sauces. Imagine that. The exquisite taste of those delectable delights coupled with hours of dipping and cleaning fun for the whole family. All this can be yours. Where? Did somebody say McDonald's? Napkins retain no value after initial use. CODs only. McNuggets come in 6, 9, and 20 piece. 55. What'll it be? We'll take some rice and get some far too. Yeah. Now you can choose which teams you see every Sunday with Direct TV and NFL Sunday ticket. There's up to 13 regular season games a week. Rice check on far. Hey Brett. Hey John. So stock up on all your favorites. NFL Sunday ticket. It's not on cable. See it on Direct TV. So what are you looking at? 
the last six weeks of NFL Sunday Ticket Free when you get DirecTV. Fox Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Welcome back to the Metrodome and the game of the week. Maybe the game of the year. The Green Bay Packers have won the toss. Minnesota will kick off. Packed house. That's the result of that meeting in Green Bay. When the Vikings broke Green Bay's home winning streak. Brett Favre who have the chance on offense first after the kickoff. Had three passes intercepted at night. Mike Holmgren, as John Madden said, told his two coordinators, let's do everything different from what we did in that game. Berger nails it deep, and they won't bring it out. Royal Preston. Let's check out that Green Bay offense led by number four, the incomparable Brett Favre. Only three-time most valuable player in NFL history. The offensive line. They've improved, Mike Holmgren says, Verba, Rivera, Winters, Timmerman, and Dodson. Derek Holmes is the running back behind Henderson, Freeman, Brooks, and Chamora, the receiver. Two tight ends set up they open with. One back. Fumble on the first exchange between Winters and Favre and there's a scramble for it. Green Bay got it back. That was one of the things that the Packers and Brett Favre last night were concerned about is the noise in here in the starting count and Brett says that if they're going to start on the same count every time. Looked like that ball got up there and Brett Favre wasn't ready for it. Frankie Winters could have snapped that thing a little early. He could have. Jerry Paul was right on his face mask. That will make you snap it a little early. Yep. I wonder sometimes how a center and a quarterback can work together so long and have something like that happen in the first play. Holmes hit right at the line of scrimmage and stopped right there. Let's look at that Viking defense. This is the part of the Minnesota machine that a lot of people don't think is that reliable, but they played extremely well. Randall, Williams, Jerry Ball, and Derek Alexander up front. Dwayne Rudd, Ed McDaniel, and Dixon Edwards, the three linebackers in the secondary. Hitchcock and Fuller, the corners, Thomas and Griffith, the two safeties. Yeah, John Randall is playing end in this game, and then on a passing down like this, he goes in and he plays defensive tackle. Far back to throw it. Pass complete to Freeman. First down, Green Bay at the 36. That's the type of pass patterns that they were talking about. You know, we don't need the home runs early. What we need are just things that move the chain. And here you see Antonio Freeman. He's going to come up, and then he just comes into that area. In fact, Mike Holmgren thought that there was a void in that area. As Ed McDaniel, the middle linebacker, runs out, that they can get in between Ed McDaniel and the safety in the middle of the field. Far retreats. Lost the ball. Vikings have it. Tony Williams came up with the ball. I don't know if Barb had it hit or dropped it or what happened, but the Vikings get the turnover. And the things the Packers talked about is we can't have turnovers. We have to move the chain. And the first thing on this first series, they have it. Brett Favre has it in one hand, just and you out. say it just hit his hip, and he just started to run out there, and the ball was low in his right hand, and it bounced off his hip, and then there was Tony Williams to pick it up. Boy, strange things happen Don't in they? these games. I mean, you, know, you can talk about offense and defense and game plans and getting guys open, and then your quarterback starts to run and just drops the football, and he's not even hit. Three wide receiver set up. That's a dangerous setup for Minnesota. They use it about half the time. Robert Smith is deep. This is out to Jake Reed. And Reed gets down to about the 16. Let's look at the Minnesota offense. A powerful machine it is. Randall Cunningham, and that's what he did in the first game between these two. Amazing story. Susie, McDaniel, Christy, Dixon, and Stringer. A huge offensive line that's been together quite a while. Robert Smith and Charles Evans, the two backs. 
Reed and Carter and Randy Moss in the wide receiver. Carter in the slot. Cunningham gives to Robert Smith. Pursuit knocks him out of bounds for the loss of a couple. Craig Newsom came up as a cornerback should. Let's look at the Green Bay defense. That's the front four. Holiday, Brown, Santana, Dotson, and Ridge White. The linebackers, Brian Williams, Bernardo Harris, and George Koontz. And the secondary, Williams and Newsom, the corner is sharper, and Butler, the safety. It's interesting here, Pat, that the Packers aren't going to their nickel defense, and it's third down. I think they're, they're still playing. They still have Gilbert Brown in there. They still have their base defense in there. They're playing the Minnesota Vikings for run. And Leroy Hordes in the game. The Using their pass protect. Cunningham fires incomplete, deflected, and out of the end zone. Butler got a hand on it. Yeah, and that was the thing that we were talking about. Uh, you know, they want to they want to rush Randall Cunningham, but they don't want to blitz him, and they don't want to play him in a man-to-man -man defense. They want him to be able to read their zones or have to read their zones, and then they want to get a lot of guys back in that area. And you can see that it worked that time. The yeah. Packers got exactly what they wanted with their zone defense and dodged a bullet because of that turnover. Anderson from 35 yards, and he's been perfect, and he remains perfect. Gary Anderson's 24th consecutive field goal gives the Vikings the lead. It's an idea that's been around for a pretty long time. At Southwest Airlines, we call it Friends Fly Free. Just buy a round-trip full fare ticket and a friend comes along absolutely free. Of course, like any great deal, it doesn't last forever. So purchase your ticket by December 9th and travel by April 2nd. Because you don't want to get left behind. You are now free to move about the country. Right hand, mm, nah, let's switch it to the left. Mm, two hands, nah. Don't want me? Yeah, let's save it. Oh, here we go. Just a reminder that with options like traction control, anti-lock brakes, and all-wheel drive, Dodge Caravan is good on ice. And snow, and slush, and rain, and mud, and dirt, and... Now get up to $1,000 cash allowance on Dodge Caravan. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of the Super Bowl. I was talking a minute ago, John, about how warm it is. Doesn't look like it, does it? No, you can't beat a good icicle. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we haven't even, even had Thanksgiving yet. In fact, that's our next big game on Thursday down in Dallas. But icicles remind me of Christmas decorations. Yeah. We don't get to that until after we get past Thanksgiving. That remind me of cold. Cold Christmas. Berger sails it out of the end zone. This guy is something, isn't he? I mean, and and you just look at, at what kind of field position he gives when you do when, when you kick like that. This is what he did last week. Look, he had five touchbacks. Four of them, the, the team started on the 20, and then his punts are the same thing. You see, he had two way down here where they had to start right here, and then he had two inside the 30. So yep. anytime you get a, a kickoff guy like Mitch Berger who can kick the ball up and punt like that, then the other team is always looking at a long field. That is a unrecognized uh, weapon, and it's a real weapon. You can eat up a lot of yards. Two tight ends set up for Green Bay, and Favre drops, throws to Chamorro. He is hit backwards by Ed McDaniel. You know, and then if you look what Berger does, Pat, after that, he has a candy bar in his shoe. 
And after he kicks, there you he know, goes. to get energy. There he, he goes. goes and he gets the candy bar. How much he, more energy does he need? I don't know. He's trying to sneak it. Did you see that? Kick both kickoff completely out of the end zone. I know it. Darn near out of the stadium. Yeah. This place didn't have a dome on it. It could have ended up St. Paul. Second and five. Kimura moves. Barb throws to Henderson. Just a little bit shy of the first down, about a foot, it appears. Tony Williams made the stop. You know, Mike Holmgren was telling us last night that Dorsey Levins is going to start working out with the team next week. And remember a couple weeks ago talking to Brett Favre, and he says one of the areas that he misses Dorsey Levins the most is in the passing game. He said, you don't realize how many times Dorsey Levins was his outlet or his check down guy that he threw to. And he said, without him in different backs all the time, it's made passing tough. Two tight ends set up. This is Holmes, and he got the first down. Hit it hard, but not much yardage. And Derek Holmes was a pretty good pickup for the Packers. They, they got him in a trade from the Buffalo Bills. And remember a few years ago, he was a backup to Thurman Thomas yep. up there, and he had a, 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 a big year. And then, then he kind of got relegated where he was just a special teams player. And, when the Packers had some injuries, they figured that they wanted to get a running back that was active, that was on a team that was playing, not some guy that was just sitting around. So they made a trade for Derek Holmes. Three wide receiver package. And this is Holmes. Hit right at the line of scrimmage, perhaps a little bit behind it by Dwayne Rudd. The Vikings have a good set of linebackers. Yeah, and, and, they, and they have a very quick set of linebackers. I mean, they have the speed at these two positions in Rudd and McDaniel, and you can see Rudd there. I mean, he just he just hit that thing head on. But yep. if you run at him, he can play it like this. You better get a blocker on him, though, if you're going to run at him, yeah. because he's going to make a collision right like that. And if you run away from him, he has the speed to catch you from behind. Second and 11, these situations... Brett Favre doesn't want. Holmes on a draw play gets near first down yardage and he might have it. And, and these are the ways that Brett Favre wants to get out of these these things. Here you just see one single back here now. Now everyone thinks it's pass. So you get the line is going into pass rush. The linebackers start to drop off yep. and then just a little delay. And then when Derek Holmes hits that thing, you see he gets a block right there, and, and, and then he's able to almost get a first down. They need a foot. Barb, quarterback sneak. He doesn't like to do that, but he got a first down. Well, you know, he has a call with uh, uh, Frank Winters, yep. the center, and, and all he calls is Peter. And if he wants to take that ball, he just calls Peter, and that's an audible that he's going to take it. And then Frank Winters just snaps it to him, and he runs right off Frank Winters' block. Watch this. You see, he makes that thing, and then he just gets right in behind yep. Frank Winters. You see that? And that's when there's no one covering the center is when he runs that play. Four wide receivers this time, and Barb throws high. Intended for Freeman. Just a little bit long. And I think he better throw that one high because that was that was good coverage by the Vikings and I think if he threw it where Freeman could have caught it it also could have been intercepted. As we said before he had three intercepted in the first meeting between these two and that was the beginning of a streak of games with three interceptions for him. Minnesota runs defensive guys in and out and here's one of the, here's one of the big matchups today John Randall as the right end over there against Ross Verba. No blitz far incomplete behind Chamura. Ross Verba on that one did a nice job on John Randall because what they wanted to do is take away the inside. See he has to look in there to see the snap count. I mean to see the ball snap. But the thing that Holmgren says is he's going to give him some help, but not to the inside. So the thing that he wants him to do is he wants him to take the outside. Don't let him have the inside on you. I have an idea he said to Russ Verba after it was over, good job. That was a good job. It was. And he should have said that. Now John Randall moves inside. Here comes the blitz. They get it outside to Henderson. Short of the first down at about the 48-yard line, and the Packers will have to punt. Corey Fuller knocked him out of bounds. Well, you have to be impressed with this Viking defense, Pat. When they 
throw that ball out there to Henderson is thrown short of the first down and there were eight Vikings in on that tackle. Now they're a very fast defense. You know like I was saying earlier this is a team this Viking team is built for speed. It's a team that's built to play on artificial turf. Sean Landetta back to punt for Green Bay and David Palmer deep for Minnesota. Landetta good kick. High hanging Palmer gets away and it bounds through the end zone. They'll bring it back to the 20. Three nothing Minnesota. Ah, the possibilities Dodge Caravan opens up. It's a cabin in the woods, complete with heated power recliners. It's your own private ski lodge, or your workshop for building one. It's your place in the sun, complete with guest room and breezeway. Dodge Caravan, the world's most popular home away from home. Now get up to $1,000 cash allowance on Dodge Caravan. How to speak Australian. Touch football. Beer. Foster's Australian for beer. How to speak Australian. Remote control. Beer. Foster's Australian for beer. MetLife Financial Professionals believe the best way to discuss your financial future, including mutual funds, annuities, and insurance, is face-to-face. -face. That's why we make house calls. Get Met. It pays. There are other ways to get to work, but... Nah. What are you having for Thanksgiving? How about a fling with an older woman? You wouldn't think a girl had like that much tongue behind your girlfriend's back. I think I gotta tell Donna. On behalf of men everywhere. An all new That 70s Show. You can kiss whatever you want. Start with your own butt. Tonight before an all new X Files on Fox. Three nothing, Minnesota, 736 left in the first quarter. The Vikings can clinch a playoff berth with a win today against Green Bay. Or Arizona or New Orleans loses. Moss was the man in motion. Flag on the play. Packers blitz Cunningham. Flag was early. Referee is Phil Luckett. Seems like every time we come here, the referee has a problem with his crowd mic. Let's see. Illegal shift. That's good. Offense. Two minute motion. No. Nope. And not resetting. Five yards. Repeat. First down. Do it. The rule is you can have as many shifts as you want to, but you can only have one man moving when the ball snaps. So here's First one man. So that's one of the men moving. So what what, what they said was there, there was someone else yeah. moving before the ball was snapped. So it's first and 15. Smith gets the carry. And out of the pack comes Robert Smith across the 20. Stopped by Brian Williams. Robert Smith. You can stop him six times in a row, and all of a sudden he's gone for 80 yards. And he's that kind of guy. Yeah. That, you know, you know that will. I mean, you can you can stop him uh, inside. He'll run right into a wall. Sometimes. He'll run a play to the sidelines and he'll just run it right out of bounds. And a little like Franco Harris used to yep. be years ago with the Pittsburgh Steelers. You think we got him, we got him, we got him today, and then he'll break a 60 yard run. Chris Carter in the slot left. Passes out. To take Reed and Reed gets to the 25. Hey, what they're gonna do is they're gonna make those corners tackle. That's Craig Newsom out yep. there. And Anytime they're off, Randall Cunningham is trying to get the ball out there. You see, here's Craig Newsom here. And anytime they get that type of separation, they want to get the ball out quickly to the receiver on that side. Now, that's okay offensively, yeah. 
And it's okay defensively, too, if you tackle the way Craig Newsom tackled on that play. And that's the couple he's done like that. Right. And if you miss a tackle, then it can be a big play. But if you're going to play off, you have to make those tackles. Third and four, David Palmer's in the backfield. Movement. Both sides point at each other. Yeah, I think Andrew Glover is saying that he moved, but the movement of the defense made him move. And that's a new rule that they yeah. put in. You know, that if the defense moves towards the line of scrimmage and makes the offensive guy move, the penalty is then on the defense. And that's what they're discussing now. It is 3-0 the Vikings lead while the conference goes on. So luck it. Fire to the snap. Ball start, offense in the right guard. Five yards to remain third down. They're calling on David Dixon, the right guard here. You can see the movement there. Now he he, he set up a little, but the, the defense yeah. did move. Yeah. I mean that's that's one of those that, that they put in a rule that if the defense makes you move, that the penalty should go against them, but they didn't call it that way that time. Third and nine. Eight minutes left, first quarter. Leroy Ford now replaces Palmer in the Viking backfield. This is where their Packers need their rush from their four men. Pass is caught short of a first down by Chris Carter. That is unusual for him to catch a pass on third down and doesn't make a first down. No, and he's the go-to guy on third down for the Minnesota Vikings. And you know, I think he's at like 22 straight that uh, every time they throw it to him on third down, he's picked up the first down. But this is what the Packers wanted on their defense. They're not man to man. They just rushed four. That means that they defended with seven, and those seven guys played a zone principle. The dangerous Royal Preston back deep for Green Bay. Great punt by Berger again. Chases Preston back to the 15. And he is knocked back to the 22-yard line. Good coverage by Minnesota, and the Packers will have a long way to go, trailing 3-0. How about lunch? Yeah, let's go to a steakhouse. Right, then we'll buy a couple of sports cars and race to the coast. No, I'm serious. Excuse me, uh, this is Wendy's. Observe. Steakhouse bacon cheeseburger, please. Make that too, with a uh, baked potato and a side salad. He's buying. Wendy's new steakhouse bacon cheeseburger is naturally smoked cheddar and Swiss, bacon and sauteed onions in a steak sauce, so it tastes like a cheeseburger you'd get at a steakhouse. Please give my compliments to the chef. Try Wendy's new steakhouse bacon cheeseburger today. To see a bit of what makes Dodge Intrepid fast, let's cut to the quick. It has a sparkling 200 horsepower gem of an aluminum engine. Grippy independent suspension. Crisp steering. And a highly functional driving space. Intrepid demonstrates a lot of powerful thinking, no matter how you slice it. Well equipped, 20,495. good friends into better ones. Turning new friends into old ones. Turning distant friends into closer ones. Turning leaf. Is Homer's best friend his next meal? In the pond. But Marge, look at the little guy. Ow! A tasty new Simpsons tonight at 8, 7 central. Back at the Metrodome, Pat Summerall, John Madden, Minnesota three, Green Bay nothing. Yeah, you know, the Vikings are doing an interesting thing here, Pat. On first down, they're playing them with nickel defense. They have four defensive linemen, two linebackers, and five defensive backs in. So they're kind of saying the Packers aren't going to run against them, and they're going to make them beat them with a nickel defense. Favre gets it outside Chamura. 
Eight yards, perhaps, right now for an NFL update. Let's return to Joe Buck in Los Angeles. All right, Pat, in Tampa Bay, the Lions are rolling. Rookie to rookie on a 53-yard touchdown throw. Charlie Batch to Jermaine Crowell, starting for the injured Herman Moore. They've added another, a 14-0 first quarter back to Minneapolis to Pat and John. The Buccaneers really hurting physically. And the Lions always seem to play well in Tampa. Yep, and again, the Minnesota Vikings here are in a nickel defense. Home by Dixon. By Ed McDaniel. Beg your pardon. And I think that Mike Holmgren saw that and said, if they're going to play nickel, we have to be able to run at it. Look at what the Green Bay Packers did on their, their first 15 plays. You can see that they ran the ball eight times, passed it seven times out of 13 different formations. So that's a typical Mike Holmgren or Green yeah. Bay mix that they want to you know, give you a lot of looks early to see what your adjustments are going to be and then go to work on you after that. But the Vikings are showing them some different things on defense, too. Two tight ends set up. And Favre sprints out. That'll be enough for the first to Robert Brooks. But the, the Vikings had Robert Griffith, who's their strong safety. He's really spying Brett Favre, and he's right up there around the line of scrimmage, and he's waiting for a check through. And then he's also, anytime, anytime the Brett Favre runs, he's going to go with him. Watch him. He's right up here on the line of scrimmage. He's on the left side. He's right here. And you see that he's playing tight up there. They are not going to let Brett Favre hurt him with running because Robert Griffith is up there for anything short or for Brett Favre running. Four wide receivers this time for the pack. Screen pass coming. Derek Holmes and Holmes cuts back. And whirls into Viking territory. Gets to the 44-yard line of Minnesota. First the, first, down. the first game that Derrick Holmes played for the Green Bay Packers was against the Minnesota Vikings, and he said he was just a special teams guy, didn't know anyone or anything. Now, here he runs the screen perfectly. You have to let those defensive linemen get up like he did. Let John Randall go by, act like you're blocking him, get in underneath him, and Brett Favre throws the ball over him, and that was a perfect screen pass. Again, four wideouts. Holmes hit right at the line of scrimmage by Jerry Ball. Here we talk about uh, Gilbert Brown on the, on the Green Bay side, and Jerry Ball is the equivalent. I mean, Jerry Ball is right here. Now, look at his helmet. He, he has that paint to paint on the center, and his helmet is darn near over the yeah. ball. Looks but like he's not, right. not going to let, let you get a run at them. And he just splits that. He's right between Frank Winters and Adam Timmerman. He just splits that thing and gets in their backfield. He's a big old guy, big old ball, six foot one, 350 pounds. That is a big ball. For 12 years. Big old ball really plays a run. Hard, and a pass is picked off by Hitchcock. Jimmy Hitchcock jumped on the square out. Barr was just a little bit late. He was. He was throwing it out out there to Bill Schrader. What a pickup this guy has been. Jimmy Hitchcock has really been something special for these Minnesota Vikings. Now you see Schrader's the outside receiver right there. He's going to run it out. Jimmy Hitchcock was watching Schrader, and he was looking back at Brett Favre, and he got the jump. Instead of jumping to the outside of Schrader, he jumped to the inside and picked it off. 58 yard touchdown run after the interception by Jimmy Hitchcock. And you're right, what a pickup he has been. Dan, you look good. Lost weight? Cut the act, Phil. I need to tell management what's happening with our website. Okay. In terms they can understand. Every buck we spend, we'll earn two bucks back by the end of the year. For great advice about digital technology, head for Circuit City.
If you're looking for a DVD player, make sure you choose one with DivX. Only DVD players with DivX play both DVD and DivX movie discs. DivX lets you watch movies at home for about what it costs to rent, but you never have to return movies or pay late fees. This RCA DVD player with DivX is only $399.99 and get any five DivX movies free after rebate. Plug into DivX at Circuit City. For Dodge Intrepid, we looked beyond a great look and took Cab Forward Architecture to a new place. With a spacious cabin, a very useful pass-through, and a cavernous trunk, Intrepid is an automobile for today, wrapped in a shape for the next millennium. Well equipped for as low as $20,495. NFL Sunday is brought to you by the new Dodge. It's about change. By Circuit City, answers in every department. Low prices all over the store. By Bud Light, for the great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. And by Adidas. You know, that interception was a poor throw by Brett Favre. It was a good interception by Jimmy Hitchcock. But watch right here, Bill Schrader, he runs a poor pattern. When you're running out, you got to square it out. You see how he rounds it off? Now, by rounding that off, he gives Jimmy Hitchcock the inside angle to pick it off. And that's exactly what he did. Like I said, it was still a bad yep. throw by Brett Favre, but it was a terrible pattern by Schrader. This time, Berger kicks it into the stands behind the goal post. The candy bar is working now. Yes, it is. Burger is fueled. 10 nothing, Minnesota. Rocks. Some people skip them, stack them, or just plain ignore them. But then there's these Texaco people. They love the darn things. Yeah. Obsess over them. Go to the ends of the earth to find them. They study them. They scan them. Even taste them. Why? You find the right rocks. You find the energy the world needs to keep on running. Texaco, a world of energy. The Napa Legend battery has smart plates, which are up to 28% thicker than the grids in ordinary batteries. That's important, because the battery won't get drained as easily. Even if you leave the lights on. Napa, over 200,000 parts. And everyone's important. Go ahead, throw it. I deserve it. There's ordinary beer. Then there's the smooth, refreshing taste of Michelob Light. Beer or Michelob? I'm John Rando of the Minnesota Vikings. We're solving today's problems through the United Way. The NFL, the United Way, and you, the power of teamwork. On Fox's Big Splash Sunday is Homer's friend in hot water. Find out on an all-new Simpsons. And is getting along with Kiss Cheating. It's a brand new That 70s Show. Plus, it's the moment you've waited for on an all-new X-Files. Big Splash Sunday starts tonight with the world's funniest at 7, 6 Central. 10-0 Minnesota over Green Bay. A minute 17 left to play in the first quarter. And the Packers ball at their own 20. Far back to throw. Intended for Freeman. Just out of his reach. Yeah, we watch Mitch Berger, yeah. and we know how well he's kicked today, and we see where he's getting his energy is out of his shoe. I've eaten a lot of Snickers <laughs> in my life, and I've never kicked a ball like that. You don't want to make a mistake when you reach in there. <laughs> well, I know you don't. But whatever's in there, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna snack on. But good bite of inner so would not yeah. be good. Two tight ends set up for Green Bay, second and ten, and Favre again will throw it. Outside, caught by Derek Holmes, who 
Holmes broke the tackle. And Holmes, with an extra effort, gets up and gets about nine yards. Orlando Thomas brought him down. Like I said, this 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 defense is really doing the job, and this is what what the game is about thus far. It's about this Minnesota Viking defense. In fact, their offense has been on the field only two times, and they've had two three and outs. So leading ten to nothing, it's all about this. This is Bo Fazio here, who's the defensive coordinator, and he has the defenses on his wrist, on his wristband. You see his left wrist there, so he calls him in to Ed McDaniel by the number. A lot like the Cowboys do with Troy Aikman on that offense. One. Minnesota blitzed on that third and short, and nobody picked up. That was Ed McDaniel. Yeah. Ed McDaniel came right up the middle. As you said, no one picked him up, and Brett Favre had to throw it. That was Foge's call. That was old play number seven. He had that blitz. In fact, he had an underline. And you're going to see right here. Here comes McDaniel. Right there, he just comes straight up the middle. No one blocked him, and Brett Favre had to throw the ball just a split second before he wanted to. Landetta kicks away from Palmer, kicks it out of bounds, and that's a good punt. No return. Out of bounds on the 24. Thanksgiving Day, get a double dose of Fox Sports with Justin Leonard, Hanukkah Sorenstam, and Jim Colbert show off their short games at the Sun Microsystems. Par three challenge. That's followed by the Vikings battle with the Cowboys. It all starts at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Right here on Fox. That's going to be fun, isn't it? We're just like the, the Vikings. We'll go uh, from here, have a couple of days, go down to Dallas, and get ready for the Vikings and the Cowboys on Thursday. And that Sun Microsystems golf is a fun challenge, too. Well, that's on before. That's when you yeah. get your turkey ready. You're watching that. That's Robert Smith. Like I said, I think I think the thing that Randall Cunningham now in this in this Minnesota Viking offense, they can kind of get conservative because their defense is playing so well, and because the Packers aren't doing anything at all, there's no reason to offensively force anything. That's the end of the first quarter with the score of the Vikings 10, the Packers nothing. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Only one car in the world has this revolutionary new anti-whiplash system to help protect your neck. Unfortunately, it can't help necks outside the car. The new Volvo S80. Protect the body, ignite the soul. A lifetime of dreams. Super Bowl 33 on Fox. Imagine TV. Let's check out Mercury's top picks. Here's the starting lineup. The 99 Sable LS Premium Package. Now over 1,500 less than last year's model. Plus no charge leather seating surfaces. And the government's highest crash test rating, five stars. Or the 99 Grand Marquis, Florida's best-selling full-size car. Also with the government's five-star crash test rating. Now with low 4.9% APR financing. This year, the team to beat is at your Mercury dealer. Definitely. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. There is the pressure to conform. And then there's the Mazda 626 with a style all its own. Do not go gently into that PTA meeting. McNeil looks it over. She needs a strike here, Chip, to finish strong. Oh, incredible. Allie McNeil. They hope that the temperature is always 67 degrees. Right now it is, but it'll get warmer as the day goes by. Inside the Metrodome, Moss moves in motion. And here is Cunningham. Here comes a blitz and a screen pass and a flag. Now Robert Smith would get a first down, but there's a flag on the play, and that's in the area of holding. 
Yeah, you know, and the and the one thing that Randy Moss with his speed, you know, you know does so well is, is he's a good decoy. I mean, this play is going to come back against the Vikings, but they put him out there. Everyone points to him. They run him in motion. They run him up the field, and then they screen in behind him. And just his speed holding offense help. number 77, 10 yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Called against Stringer. The funny thing is, is that's Corey Stringer, yeah. and and that's away. Away, yes. That, you know, because Corey Stringer is right tackle, and that was a screen to the left side. But in Corey Stringer's defense, he's playing against Reggie White, and he's fighting for his life out there against Reggie. Second and 18. Drops the throw. The rush is on. The pass goes deep and is caught as he underthrew it by Randy Moss. Yeah, and this is exactly what the Green Bay Packers said that they didn't no, want to do. They didn't want to be in man-to-man -man coverage. They came on a blitz that time. They get him in man-to-man -man coverage. And here's Randy Moss out here. He just has so much speed. You see that he takes a corner and turns him, and then and then you can't outrun him. I mean, I mean, you can't outthrow him. So if you throw it anywhere, he is so big and so good, he's going to get it. If you can get it out there, he can outrun any any corner of football. And if you throw it short, he's a good enough athlete. Just stop, come back, and get it. But on that play, the Vikings caught the Packers in man-to-man. 40-yard -man. game. Smith is hit by Reggie White. You know, all the things that the Packers talked about that they didn't want to happen is happening. Here's Reggie White here, and you can see that he's not only a pass rusher, when he sees Corey Stringer blocked down, he's going to come in and he's going to take on that trapper. That was Randall McDaniel, and he just took him on and just narrowed and shortened down that hole to nothing. And Bonnie Holiday came all the way from the other side of the line with an assist on that play. Second and ten. Cunningham drops. Looking for a place to go and finds one. And Randall Cunningham scrambles inside the Packer 30. Packer 40 make it down to the 37. Yeah, the Packers did something on defense I haven't seen them do in a long time. They moved Reggie White in and he played over the guard. And you see Reggie White is going to come. He's right here and he's playing over David Dixon. Now David Dixon is a 350 pound guard. And he just gets in front of Reggie and he does a good job on him. And Reggie, by jumping out like that, opened up the hole for Randall yep. Cunningham to run in. David Palmer in the backfield. And a direct snap to Palmer. And Palmer will get a Viking first down. This guy is a valuable guy. I haven't seen that before. Yep. He was a wide receiver. They made a running back out of him. This is an old single wing play. Remember the old single wing? They just have Palmer back here. They just snap him the ball. He has a fullback to his left, who is really a backup tight end, DeLong, and he, he just gives him the lead on that play. But just, here's Palmer, here's DeLong right here. DeLong leads, Palmer starts to follow, makes a move on Gilbert Brown. He better make a move on Gilbert yeah. Brown or he would have been squashed. First down, Minnesota. Here's Cunningham. Moss, incomplete. Good coverage by Green Bay. Craig Newsom, and Newsom is down. Sharper came over. Yeah, that's assist. yeah, that's the thing. See, they have here's Newsom here, and then as he comes in the post, you're going to see Sharper come in and, and then take away from Moss right there. You see Sharper come to the inside, and the ball had to be thrown between Newsom the corner and Sharper the safety. And Newsom is still down. Newsom made a heck of a play. You know, Randall Cunningham on two passes to Randy Moss didn't get it out there. Had he gotten that out there, that could have been a touchdown. Packers looking. Great timepieces are built to run forever without replacing batteries. But only one of these is smart enough to run forever on any kind of light. Echo Drive from Citizen. Live at the speed of light. It's hard to respect the French when you have to bail them out of two big ones in one century. But we have to hand it to them on mayonnaise. Nice job, Pierre. 
French, German. You're the genius behind the new Speak in a Week foreign language CDs. But can you say global distribution? You know linguistics, not logistics. Entree UPS. The same people you rely on here clear customs electronically and deliver to over 200 countries worldwide. Soon orders are rolling in and everyone's speaking your language. Bonjour. <laughs> UPS, moving at the speed of business. Get ready. The new Volkswagens are coming. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Volkswagen. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. By First Union, your guide to the financial world. By Taco Bell. And by Energizer Advanced Formula Battery. No battery lasts longer. Ten nothing Minnesota, and Newsom turned himself over. Here's what happened. Yeah, you can see Darren Sharper, number 42, comes across, and right there, the collision is between Newsom and his own man Sharper. And again, uh, it's good to see Craig Newsom yeah. up and, and walking off the field. But again, that was good coverage, but had that ball been thrown deeper, it would have been a touchdown. Rod Smith took his place. Right now, for an NFL update, let's return to Joe Buck in Los Angeles. All right, Pat, already down 14 to nothing. Tampa Bay fighting for their playoff lives. Get this, still for a 44-yard touchdown throw to Jacquez Green, his first career touchdown reception. Cuts the Detroit lead in half. Back to the Metrodome, Pat and John. And here it's 10 nothing Minnesota. Newsom over on the sideline. Newsom, remember last year, Pat had that serious knee injury. Yep. Was out the whole season. And Mike Holmgren said last night that he thought that this game he was just starting to get comfortable with that knee. Replaced by Rod Smith. Cunningham. Caught by Moss. Stopped by Smith. You know, one, long. one thing that the Packers wanted to do that they're not doing, they're not getting to Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham had a lot of time, and when he has a lot of time, he can find these receivers. You see, because Randy Moss has so much speed, yeah. that corner is going to play off him. You have to. And this is the most important thing right here, this pass protection. You know, if you are going to get Randy Moss open and let Randall Cunningham stand back there that long and pump the ball and pump the ball and pump the ball, he's going to eat you up. Yep. Smith, nothing. Holiday from behind. You know, one of the one of the things that Denny Green was talking about yesterday is, is saying that, that, that we may run like this early. And you see, this is kind of an ugly play. There's nothing there. There's defenses swarming all over the place. But he says what we want to be able to do is run in the second half. Reggie White and Bonnie Holiday. I think now the Vikings are starting to wear down this Packer yeah, defense well, already. Out, they've been out there a long time. This particular drive, five seconds to go on the clock. Evans. That's Robert Smith who made the catch. Evans. Cunningham faked to Evans and then pulled it back and threw it to Smith. You know, one thing about Randall Cunningham, he's a different quarterback oh, yeah. than the guy that we watched play for years in Philadelphia. And he always talks about how he's at peace with himself and how calm he is. And he really is. I mean, I mean, he's playing that way. I mean, just the way he stands back there and pumps and pumps and then throws. That time he comes out on a little bootleg very calmly and just hits Robert Smith with it. Not just a different quarterback, a different person entirely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even even when you talk to him, you know, he's he has that calmness along mixed in with a heck of a lot more confidence. Yeah, Leroy Hard is deep. Oh, 
hits the AstroTurf. And he wanted that third down. We talked yep. about the, the Packers' first 15. This is what the Vikings did on their first 15. Almost the same yep, thing. Seven runs, eight passes, 13 different formations. One of those formations had David Palmer really as the quarterback, the old single wing quarterback. I don't know where we put that in I don't formation. Either. Unusual. Oh, that would throw the computer off. Anderson from 29 yards out is good again. And he doesn't miss very often under these conditions. 13-0 Minnesota. This is a world only a few know well. A world of risk and uncertainty. Where the roads can take you to success or prosperity. Or sometimes to no place at all. This is the financial world. For decades, banks and investment firms of mountainous size have ruled the land. Yet high above the horizon, another mountain has risen. A mountain called First Union. With 16 million customers, the nation's eighth largest brokerage and sixth largest bank. For a new perspective of the financial world, come to the mountain called First Union. Or if you prefer, the mountain will come to you. Muzzle? Yeah. Get ready. The new Volkswagens are coming. A mind blower. A tour de force episode. The moment you've been waiting for. The X Files. An all new episode tonight at 9, 8 Central on Fox. The three cheeses. Well, not, not but, room for the middle cheese. Well, that's what the rule is. If you have a cheese head on your right and a cheese head on your left, then you have to hit, you hold your cheese head in your hands. Now, who's, who made that rule? That's that's a rule. It's a Green Bay rule. Green Bay it's, a, it's a Wisconsin thing that that the uh, middle cheese head uh, keeps the cheese head on his lap. Berger sails his kickoff over the head of Royal Preston and out of the end zone. That fuel has kicked in, hasn't yes, it? Yes, it really has. Green Bay will start from the 20, as they have every time he's kicked off. In six hours, everything in this system will be dead or dying. We are participating in the outright theft of a world. Meet the new face of evil. If Picard or any of his people interfere, eliminate them. On December 11th, join the rebellion. Move these people out! Saddle up. Lock and load. Ah! Star Trek Insurrection, rated PG. December 11th, only in theaters. 55. What'll it be? We'll take some rice and... We've got some far too. Yeah. Now you can choose which teams you see every Sunday with DirecTV and NFL Sunday Ticket. There's up to 13 regular season games a week. Rice check on far. Hey, Brett. Hey, John. So stock up on all your favorites. NFL Sunday Ticket. It's not on cable. See it on DirecTV. So what are you looking at? Get the last six weeks of NFL Sunday Ticket free when you get DirecTV. Joan London for Claritin. For years, I tried to deal with seasonal allergies. I took a million different kinds of over-the-counter antihistamines, had a cupboard filled with allergy medications. It made me feel drowsy. Then my doctor prescribed non-drowsy, once-a-day Claritin. Claritin works for me. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects, such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth. After I talked to my doctor, I was amazed at how easy it was to control my seasonal allergy symptoms. He's back! Yes! Joe Pesci, Daniel Stern, and Macaulay Culkin in the holiday blockbuster. <laughs> Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Tuesday at 8, 7 Central. Tonight on an all-new episode of The X-Files, critics are calling it a mind-blower, a tour de force episode. 
Don't miss the moment you've been waiting for on the X-Files. An all-new episode begins tonight at 9, 8 Central here on Fox. Brett Favre breaks the Packers out of the huddle. They trail 13-0. And the Vikings are playing in base defense now with four defensive backs on first down. Favre, Freeman. First down, Green Bay. Corey Fuller brought him down. Here's Mitch Berger. Yeah, he's kicked four kickoffs, and he's had four touchbacks, and when you get four, then you have to do a double. You know, I mean, you, see, see, you have to go for it twice. And he's had so many kicks. And you put it back in your shoe. That shoe's his putting shoe. He has a putting shoe and a kicking shoe. Holmes, the ball carrier, stopped by Robert Griffin. You know, it was interesting that, that uh, Derek Holmes came over from Buffalo where he was number 44. Yep. And when he got to the Green Bay Packers, he wanted number 22 because his his running back coach for Buffalo was Elijah Pitts. And when Elijah Pitts played for the Green Bay Packers, he was number 22. There's Elijah. Yep. He was he was one of the great Packers and a great coach and a wonderful guy. And a father of Ron Pitts, who, yep. who was with us and passed away this year. Five. Schrader. That's another Green Bay first down. Hitchcock. This is a better pattern by Schrader here. Remember the last time he ran an out on, on Hitchcock, he just he just kind of rounded the thing, and Hitchcock got a, 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 a position on him. That time, Bill Schrader came down, and he drove Hitchcock off, and then he got his body between Hitchcock and the ball. It's 10 out of 15 as they move close to midfield. We're going to bad numbers if it weren't for the two turnovers, the interception and the ball he drops. Screen pass to Holmes, and it's well set. Got a first down. Dixon Edwards made the stop. This is a this is a pass that the Packers have had some success with here. Just running the screen. See, again, you, you let those defensive linemen rush. You see, they think they have Favre, and then once you get by them, then you sneak out into that area, and that's exactly what Derek Holmes does. And then you bring your offensive line down in front as blockers, and that's the screen. Another Packer first down. They've been able to move the ball, but the turnovers have done them in. Holmes. Cuts inside the 35, about the 33, stopped by Griffith. Yeah, and, then, and that's the thing that they have to do is they have to be able to run the ball because that not only takes the pressure off of Brett Favre, but it takes the pressure of pass protection off the offensive line. Here's a little counter play. You see yep. both both Holmes and Henderson, the fullback, started like they were going to the left. Then they countered and came back to the right. Seven-yard pickup, second and three. And when you have fast linebackers, that counter stuff will affect them because yep. they react so quickly to the first thing they see. Five. That's Michael Blair, who's the third. The Packers only have three running backs. That's Blair. And watch John Randall here, Pat, and you'll see what he did to Ross Verba and why Brett Favre had to throw that ball so quickly to Blair. See, Ross Verba is not supposed to give away the inside, right. but that time he did give away the inside to John Randall. You know what happens is sometimes you you get back and you, and you want to get up to take care of Randall's quickness, and in doing so you stand straight up and then he'll bull rush you and use his power. That's exactly what he did on that last pass uh, rush. He, he can read all those things that you're doing. And During take the whole advantage. time, yeah, and he's talking to you the whole time. Yeah. Timeout Green Bay. They have two left. are coming. 
Hey, Gordita fans, check out the Gordita Supreme. Seasoned ground beef, a blend of cheeses, cool sour cream, and freshly chopped tomatoes, all on warm, pillowy flatbread. Just 99 cents. We're making one for you right now. Better hurry. Can't this boat go any faster? Outstanding timepieces are built to run forever without replacing batteries, but only one of these is smart enough to run forever. On any kind of light, Echo Drive from Citizen. Live at the speed of light. Now that the money has the new advanced battery, it's a whole new ball game. You have to be prepared for just about anything. Take that right, boys. New Energizer Advanced Formula. No battery lasts longer. Should you tell your girlfriend about the older woman in your life? I think I gotta tell Donna. On behalf of men everywhere? That 70s show, all new tonight before the X-Files. Brett Favre has the Packers at the Minnesota 30, down 13-0. They need to get something on the board. Seven different players have caught passes from Brett Favre, first and 10. Holmes. Inside the 25 to the 24. Derek Alexander tripped him up. Halftime and the pregame show people, of course, are here at the Metrodome. J.B., Terry, Howie, and Chris. Joe yes. Buck will be reporting from the studios back in Los Angeles along with Ron Pitts. Now, Chris Collinsworth has gotten so big now that he has his own designated seat warmer. So they have the kid, and he just sits in that seat to keep it warm for Collinsworth. So when he gets in there, he has a warm seat to talk with. That is so big, huh? Yeah, he's big. Chamora makes the first down catch for Green Bay, and they move to the Minnesota 15. And then Howie next to him. Howie doesn't need a seat warmer because he brings his own seat warmer. See, there Howie, is. Howie always has his seat warm. He's all ready. And then Terry doesn't need one, and then JB doesn't need one. But Collinsworth is the only guy. And see, in fact, Terry, he's he's so warm now. He doesn't even have a jacket on. The other guys have jackets on, but Collinsworth has the designated seat warmer. His chin is warm, at least. Terry, five, as time wheels it outside to Henderson, Ooh, he slid down and he had him. He had one there too, but that was about his third or fourth read. Yep. He was trying to throw the ball to the left. He started to the left, then he went to the middle, and then he came out to William Henderson and the right. Now watch him here. He's going to come and he's going to be a play fake. He looks to the left. He pumps. He comes back. He looks in the middle, and his third read. His third read is out there to William Henderson. He was looking for the third window. Yeah, but that was that was kind of late, and then when he got to that third window, he threw a bad ball. Second down, this is Holmes. Down to about the 12. No penalty marker down. I like Derek Holmes. I, I like too. the way he's running. I Pretty mean, quick. He's a, he's a halfback, and, and he's quick, but he runs like a fullback. He gets those shoulders square and takes it in there. And you just, just watch the way he gets turned. Now, he brings that power. I mean, see, once he gets his shoulder square right there, that's when he just turns it up and he starts running, trying to make someone miss. And if you don't make a miss, then just run over what's left. Henderson is the lone setback this time. Two tight ends. That's Tyrone Davis. Yeah, at some time, Pat, they're yeah. going to figure out. Anytime they put Tyrone Davis in as a tight end, he's not a tight end because he's not a blocker. He's like another wide receiver, and you better get him covered because when they get inside the 20 and number 81 is in there for the Packers, that is the guy that Brett Favre is going to. And for. those defensive backs better be ready to tackle this guy. Yeah, because he's big. He's over 250 pounds. You see him. He just starts on one side, comes all the way across the backfield in motion. Corey Fuller misses the tackle, as you say, and Ty, Ty Davis runs it in the end zone. 13-7 is the extra point by Longwell is good. Tyrone Davis had two touchdowns last week against the Giants. They have to be careful. They have to sort of sneak him in there. Yeah, because you know that he's not going to block. Yesterday, we spoke to Brett Favre about what they have to do against the Minnesota defense. What we have to do in a game like this is 
short, quick passes, complete the ball, keep the chains moving, run the ball effectively. And, and I've said this before, that effective running is not a 150-yard rusher. It's, it's getting positive yardage every time you run the football. You don't want to be in long yardage situations against this team. You know, and on that drive pad, Brett Favre was six out of seven for 61 yards, but he's really moving the ball around. In fact, he threw it to six different receivers. Yeah. So his six completions were all to different guys. But again, Ty Davis is a guy that they, they'll, they'll put in any time in the game to throw the ball to him, but they really like him once they get in the red zone, which of course is inside the 20-yard line. Yeah, he's on the kickoff team, Davis is. David Palmer back deep, and the Viking would, would like him to handle it. On the last drive, Favre, six out of seven. This kickoff will be brought back by Palmer. Palmer finally taken down at about the 23 at the uh, delayed appearance by the Packers' Kerry Cooks. You know, you can feel the momentum turn on that play that the Packers yeah. kind of figured out what the Viking defense was doing. They got into a little rhythm. And now I think it's important that the that the Vikings come back and, and take back that thing and get in their rhythm and take back the, the momentum again. Green Bay defensive coordinator, Chris Shermer. Chris Shermer, you can tell by that look. That's a look that's <laughs> looking for a turnover. Well, I haven't had one yet. Haven't gotten one yet. Haven't had one. Give it up too. Yeah, right. That's what he was looking at. Down Bernardo Harris swarms on Cunningham. And Bar Bernardo Harris was right up there in the line of scrimmage, and they didn't count him. Watch him. He's number 55 here, and he is going to just hit that hole. You see Dixon works out there, sliding to the right side. They slide out there to block Brian Williams. No one touches Bernardo Harris, and he gets a free highway right to Randall Cunningham. Robert Smith made a futile attempt at stopping him. Second and 19. The Smith. Nothing doing. Yeah, and this 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 is a situation. This is a Fritz Shermer defense here, where you where you put that pressure on him on first down. You get the loss, and then you then you stop him on second down. Now you get him in this third and long, and here's a situation that he really likes because he can go three man line here, which he'll do, and then either either press him and put pressure on him, or or he can go to an eight man zone defense and make Randall Cunningham throw into a lot of coverage. He's got Dotson in the middle, Holiday and Reggie White outside, and two linebackers inside. And they take advantage of that big hole the Vikings do, and they get close to a first down. I don't know if they got it or not. It was to Robert Tate. And, and there was no one on Robert Tate. I mean, there's no one covering him at all. I mean, he's right here. You're just going to see that he's going to come off here. No one covers him. Randall Cunningham sees that. He, he sees... You know, he's looking at Butler out there. He sees Roy yep. Butler come in, and there's no one out there at all on tape. They're going to measure, and here come the sticks. It is close. It is a first down, Minnesota. They really needed that. Two minutes left in the first half with the Vikings leading the Packers 13-7. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Miller Lite, an official sponsor of the NFL and Super Bowl 33. Let's go to Dan in Chopper 1 for more on the gorilla situation. Dan? Connie, the tiny victim, fell 40 feet into Bobo's habitat. Wow. Now Bobo is cradling it. She's moving toward the door. Her maternal instincts clearly taking hold. You could do it, girl. Unbelievable. <laughs> what an amazing end to the situation. The little guy is now back in the arms of loved ones.
It was right before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring. Well, maybe a mouse. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of presents danced in their heads. Then what to my wondering eye should appear but a speedy truck filled with packages and gear. Was it Santa rewarding those good girls and boys? Nah, just my visa, the internet, and a site called eToys. But while eToys will take all your children's requests, they just won't accept American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Which of these two computers is perfect for you? The one that was built two months ago? Or this one, which hasn't been built yet? Gateway wants to ask you some questions first. How fast do you want to go? Movie buff? How many kids? Any future Rembrandts? The perfect computer should be exactly what you want it to be. Starting at $999 all the way up to your dream system. Call 1-800-GATEWAY and get more out of the box. It happens in the Bermuda Triangle. You've been caught in some kind of time war. The moment you've been waiting for. The X-Files, an all-new episode tonight on Fox. Watch on that big third down play. Here's Leroy Butler. He's looking right in at Randall Cunningham. He leaves on a blitz. Robert Tate is here, and he just runs here. Randall Cunningham sees Butler coming. Tate points to him, and Randall Cunningham just throws the ball to Tate. Pat Terrell was the closest guy to him. Yeah. And he was 12 yards off. And he really couldn't afford to miss because and there's nobody behind him. There was an opening in that defense. Randall Cunningham found it. Rick Shermer took a gamble. Cunningham has the ball batted backwards. That's by Santana Dotson. And one of the things that Reggie White has always said about Santana Dotson is when Santana Dotson came here, that then he didn't have to play inside anymore because Santana Dotson was so good and could get a pass rush from inside. Yep. You, you see McDaniel what he did back, on that yeah. one? And Randall McDaniel is one of the best guards in football. And Santana Dotson just took Randall McDaniel and pushed him right into the backfield, darn near right into Randall Cunningham. Three-man rush this time, and Chris Carter makes the catch at midfield. That's the guy, if you say, who is the man for this team with the receiver? It still has to be Chris Carter. And Randy Moss is coming in here. Jake Reed does his thing. Robert Smith runs the ball. When you're talking about pass catching for the Minnesota Vikings, it's still Chris Carter. Yep. In a clutch situation, he's the guy they go to. And he's the guy that produces. First and ten. Here's Cunningham. Has time. Steps up. Has a lot of time. Complete. That's the kind that could have been intercepted. That's the old playground football. Do you see what Randall Cunningham was watching Chris Carter? And the Packers were in a zone, and Randall Cunningham was directing Chris Carter. You're going to see him come back here on the playback. Now watch him look. Now he's looking at Carter, and he's telling him, keep coming. You see, keep coming, and he wants to throw it into that next window. Carter never did get into that next window. But look, if he would have looked out here at Randy Moss, that could have been six points. Yep. I don't know how you can let Randy Moss go like that unless you've seen the ball in the air. Second and ten. Randy Moss. There's nothing about this guy that looks like a rookie, is nope, it? No, nope, look at his feet. I mean, I, mean, I mean, this guy is just amazing. And you watch him in practice, and, and he goes like this all the time. I mean, he has moves upon moves. That was a double move. Catch that ball, keeps both feet in bounds. He looks like he's been doing that in this league for about 10 years. Well, he's had a great teacher, Chris Carter. Well, yeah, he went down and worked out with Chris Carter, but they didn't work on catching. Chris right. Carter never catches footballs in the offseason. That's amazing. He just works on getting better. This is Leroy Hard running over people. Hard to the 10. Leroy Horde down at the five yard line. Boy, as you say, running over people. Mike Fryer was the safety in there. And Horde, after he got through the line and by the linebackers, he looked up number 39. Look, see, he gets through the line by the linebackers, and now he's going to look up Pryor. And he looked him up and ran right over him. 
Well, he is alone. Yep. And when you get him him through, now watch. Once he gets through here, he's going to look up Pryor, and he sees Pryor, and he says, this guy's not going to get me down. He just lowered the shoulder. But the key thing, when he lowered the shoulder, he kept his feet going. And he looked like he was looking for somebody to hit. I think that was 39 in a white jersey. Woo! Coming up on the B's a halftime report, we'll throw it down to JB and the guys for first half analysis. Then Joe Buck and Ron Pitts will have the scores and highlights from around the league, plus our Fox Sports ticker. We'll have up to the second stats. That's all coming up on the Visa halftime report. The boys are getting ready. Yeah, and see, the only guy that really has a warm seat is Chris Collinsworth, but everything's okay. They'll, they'll be able to handle that. But I'll tell you, that was good blocking by the offensive line there, and Leroy Ford, he ran like an NFL back. 102 left, no backs this time. First and goal at the five. Horde comes back now and takes the handoff, and it stopped at about the four, maybe five. Gosh, how fast that happened. Well, you know, they, 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 they do things with Leroy Horde. You know, uh, Robert Smith, of course, is their running back, and they bring Horde in on short yardage, goal line, and as a pass protector. Well, remember that big pass completion to Robert Tate where he was left uncovered. That got him out of a deep hole, and since then they've been moving. Yep. The Packers took a gamble and lost. Cunningham. Touchdown. Carter. Nobody can get open down there like he does. We're just saying when you get and you need a first down or you need a touchdown, Chris Carter's the man. He's the yeah. guy that they're going to look for. So conversely, you would think that on defense, he's the guy that you would want to stop. And that's what the Packers are doing. They're playing zone. But you see Chris Carter just read the zone. He saw Darren Sharper on the inside. So he stopped and just worked a little back to the outside. And Randall Cunningham hit him perfectly. The extra point is good. Yesterday, we talked to Randall Cunningham about Chris Carter. They can't just key on Chris anymore because, you know, with all the weapons that we're using, it's really opened up the game for him. He'll have a higher average per catch this year, which um, is great. But if it's ever a crucial situation, I mean, he is the man of Lino. And that's yes, a crucial is. situation, Pat. Anytime you, you need a first down, that's when he looks for Chris Carter. And anytime you get down on the goal line and you need a touchdown, that's when he looks to Chris Carter. We were talking to him yesterday morning. And I asked him, I said, do you ever run full speed? And he said, not really. No, because he always wants to be under control. Yeah. And those guys that are under control, their head is always still. Yeah. Their, their head never moves, so the ball never bounces. Minnesota 20, Green Bay 7, 24 seconds left to play in the first half. Berger teeing it up. You know, that was the 29th touchdown between Chris Carter and Randall Cunningham. Of course, that goes back to that day the Eagle days, with yeah. Philadelphia Eagle. You know what I like about Chris Carter is he is in such good condition. I was watching him practice Friday. I mean, his motor can go all day, and that's what he says. That's why he works so hard in the offseason because he wants to be as good a player in the fourth quarter as he is in the first quarter. And I only work on my weakness, he said. A lot of people work on things they do best. Not Chris Carter. Preston has the ball again. Go through his hands out of the end zone. You know, every kid in the world is gonna is gonna watch this bitch burger and want to be a kicker because that's one thing in football that you can practice by yourself, punting and kicking, and they're all gonna go for that candy bar to it and think that it's in the candy bar. I think well, it's in the timing and the leg and the swing and all those things, but has he had enough, you think? No, well, he says what happens is you have a pregame meal like four hours before the game, and then, you know, you get into the game, and then it's five or six hours since you had anything to eat, and he wants to eat during the game. Derek Holmes stopped by Dwayne Rudd. You know, the big thing about that drive, we were talking about momentum, how the Packers had gotten the momentum, we said that the Vikings have to come back and take it over. They did exactly they that. Did. They certainly did. 
And that's the end of the first half with the score of the Vikings 20, the Packers 7. Fox NFL Sunday will continue with the Visa Halftime Report after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. Minnesota 20, Green Bay 7, we're at the half. This week's you call it, which team, the Packers or the Vikings, will have fewer first downs in the second half of today's game? Join us on the internet. Log on to foxsports.com. And good luck. This week's Ask the Pros question comes from Chad Simpson of Kensington, Minnesota Charm. Do you think the Viking defense is strong enough to stop a good running game? Yeah, I think they are, unless they were to get behind. I think if they got behind and, and someone was playing downhill on them, I think they'd have a tough time. But with this offense, yeah. you know, and scoring so many points, and the other team is always playing from behind, you know, like the Packers are going to have to do in the second half, this defense is plenty good to stop a good running game because they have Jerry Ball in the middle, who's a good plugger, and then they have very quick and fast linebackers that, that you know, you know, that can take on a block but can also catch it. And then they have a good tackling secondary. Plus, they get a lot of turnovers. Well, that's that's the thing that they do. I mean, because they're they're so active, they make things happen. And I don't think that you would be able, you know, to have a steady dose of running the ball on them. Right now, let's go down to Pam Oliver. Well, Pat, talk to both coaches at halftime. First, Mike Holmgren, his team is down by 13 points. He says the biggest difference in this ball game is simply this. Brett Favre's two turnovers and the 10 points that resulted from that. Dennis Green, meanwhile, is a happy man. Glad to see 20 points up on the scoreboard. He wants to see an even more aggressive effort in the second half. He feels defensively they can be much more aggressive. Back to you. All right, Pam, thank you very much. You were just talking about those turnovers. Mike Holmgren's got them on his mind, too. Well, and I think the other thing that was so big was, you know, after Green Bay got the momentum when they scored, then Minnesota came and took it right back yeah. on that last drive, and, and that run by Leroy Horde was a big run. Two turnovers by Green Bay, both of them by Brett Favre. One, he hit his ball, hit the, hit the ball on his hip that came loose. The Vikings recovered. And the other, the interception by Hitchcock. So Minnesota will get first crack at it as Longwell lines up to kick it off. Longwell's kick sails deep into the end zone where it's handled by Palmer and he won't bring it out. But they just said that Craig Newsom, the yep. uh, injured Packer corner, will not return. Remember that play where he ran into his own player, Darren Sharper, yep. and hurt his neck? He also lacerated his knee, and he had to have stitches in his knee, and, and they said that the reason that he's not going to return is because of the knee. You can see here, remember this collision right here, that when he went down, it was, it was originally his neck, and then when they got to the sideline, they found out that he had uh, a lacerated knee, but uh, I also see him in there right now. <laughs> is that him or Rod Smith? Yeah, that is Rod that's Smith Mike in there. Smith, right and that's now. a good play by Rod Smith. Randy Moss made the reception. Smith up in a hurry. And that's that's the thing that 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 they're doing anytime they find the cornerback remember earlier they were doing this they find the corner if he gives a 10 yard cushion or more they're just going to stop the wide receiver get him the ball and see if he can make the corner miss right earlier we saw Craig Newsom make that tackle and that time it was his backup Rod Smith second and seven three yard gain on that pass completion here comes a Packer blitz and the Vikings pick it up well and it's for Randy Moss who's got it he can't run. There's a flag on the play back at the line of scrimmage. Ooh, illegal hey, hands bring it to back. the face against the Minnesota Vikings. But that's one thing that Randall Cunningham says about Randy Moss. And Randy Moss says about Randy Moss, he tells them, hey, just chunk it out there. There's no way that you can throw that ball farther than I can run. To the face, number 62. After distance to the goal, second down. Called against Jeff Christie. 
And that takes a big game back. Here's Jeff Christie. He's the center there. Blocking against Gilbert Brown. You see, he starts out against Gilbert Brown. See that right hand go up there? And he gets him right under the face yep. mask. But what a throw by Randall Cunningham. What a separation and a catch by Randy Moss. Yeah, he turned on the Jets, didn't he? I'll tell you, when you're Jeff Christie and you only weigh 285 pounds and you're blocking against Gilbert Brown 360, <laughs> you're just you just got your hands up there to grab anything you, you can. You better bring all the equipment. You know, that's the thing that Randy Moss adds. And I mean, if there's any if there's any guy in this game that has more speed than anyone else, it's number 84 in purple. And this is the, this is the type of thing you can do when you have that kind of speed. You can just throw the ball as far as you can and let him run under it. And you're not going to overthrow him. Randall Cunningham says that Randy Moss always always does him. Hey, just chunk it out there and I'll get it. Come on. He says sometimes he said they'll be on the 20 yard line like they are now. He'll say chunk it into the end zone and I'll get it. Chunk it. Yeah, just like he thinks that uh, that Randall Cunningham can chunk the ball 85 yards. Second and 17. Cunningham looks quickly. Pass is complete. That was to Jake Reed yesterday. We spoke to Randall Cunningham about Randy Moss. I came in with an open idea saying this is probably a, a great kid, great player, and he was more than I thought he was. So when you look at a kid like this, you know that the sky is the limit for him. As long as he stay focused, he can do anything that he uh, wishes to accomplish. So I, I see his focus on, on, on being one of the great players. I see him, he can be a, a, a Hall of Fame player. He can definitely be a Pro Bowl player. Even this year, he can be a Pro Bowl player. Cunningham backs out of the pressure. And he's going to take off, and there's a flag on the play. But Cunningham gets all the way out to the 39-yard line, a penalty marker down. Yeah, you. I mean, this Randall Cunningham is so amazing. I mean, that, you know, we see him throw a deep pass. We see him, see him throw a short pass. We see him run with the ball and realize that just two weeks ago he had surgery. Played a That's game amazing. on Sunday. Yeah. Had surgery yeah. on Monday. Played last Sunday. This is the second week. He said it didn't bother him at all. Defense number 42. Five-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Holding call against Green Bay's Darren Sharper. Aaron Sharper is out here on Jake Reed, and you can see that he just grabs a jersey. I mean, one of the things that the Green Bay Packers felt with these wide receivers is they had to be physical. And that's Darren Sharper trying to be physical, but in trying to do that, he just grabbed a bunch of cloth. First and ten, Minnesota. Drops the throw. Pass is deflected. Looked like Dotson again got his hands up. Yeah, that's the that's the second one that Santana Dotson got. And again, it's from that same side, rushing on the on the left side of Cunningham. Here's Santana Dotson here. And just watch, see again, he gets Randall McDaniel standing up too straight. And he just pushes him back. Yep. And then he gets in that lane that Randall Cunningham is trying to throw the ball in. As a guy that the Green Bay Packers are going to have to sign, you know yep. they're worried about you know losing their coach Mike Holmgren, but there's also some players that are up. Antonio Freeman, same thing with Dotson. That's Robert Smith. Very little, maybe a yard, maybe two. I think it's interesting that everyone uh, says that Mike Holmgren isn't going to be back, and I mean, I mean you really get that feeling and talking to players and, and coaches in the organization but he doesn't say that yeah but he doesn't say that because he won't talk about it but he doesn't deny it but you never hear where he's going to go I mean if I would have to say will Mike Holmgren be back coaching this Green Bay Packer team next year I would say no I don't you would think, say no yeah I would say no he's not going to be back but if you'd say where is he going to be I don't know that either I think he's right here with Green Bay we'll see had it and dropped it. It was a perfect strike from Cunningham. Leroy Horde, not known as a pass receiver, but and and not known as a good place to throw a pass yeah. because even even had he caught that ball, that wouldn't have been a first down. 
And Tyrone Williams was it was a zone and Tyrone yep. Williams was in that zone so Ford was running right into him and he would have been been tackled or knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds. There's a flag on the play as Berger hangs it high and deep to Roel Preston who signaled fair catch at the 11 and made it. But there's a penalty marker down. Yeah that's an interesting one because that flag came out quickly. Now if, if it's against the return team before the ball is kicked but it's not against the return team that could be a first down for the you know for we're holding could be a first down but it's not it's going to be against the Minnesota Vikings anyway. But there's always you know pre kick and post kick illegal formation no play kicking team six men on the line of scrimmage no five yard penalty repeat fourth down huh? got to have seven up there. Yeah, you can have as, as many more than seven as you want, but they only got one, two, three, four, five, you see, and then there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they only have five men on the line of scrimmage unless that outside guy is on the line of scrimmage. Well, he's not. No, but he's, he's not. So that's that's the thing. So they did only have five men on the line of scrimmage. So Berger will kick it again. Royal Preston has been sort of taken out of the game by Berger. He's kicked so well, Preston can be dangerous. This is such a big plus that the Minnesota Vikings yeah, have. You yeah. know, because as we said earlier, that with the, the punting and the kickoff of Mitch Berger, every time the Packers or any opponent of the Vikings get the ball, they're looking at an 80 yard field. Yeah. That's been the case. This is another good kick. And it's going to take Preston back. <laughs> it bounced. And they down it at the six. It hit about the one and bounced backwards. So maybe they shouldn't have taken that penalty. Until April 2nd with Southwest Airlines Friends Fly Free. Just buy a round trip full fare ticket and a friend flies free. You are now free to move about the country. EA Sports presents Cyberberry. <laughs> in the game. It's in the game. Map NFL 99. EA Sports. It's in the game. Porsche Boxster. There uh, really is no substitute. Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Porsche, who wish to remind you there is no substitute. Minnesota 20, Green Bay 7, 11.40 left in the third. Green Bay ball back at their own six-yard line. Brad Johnson, his injured thumb wrapped now, not in a cast. Favre retreats, looks right, throws left. Yeah, just Brooks. to talk about Pat again, that illegal, you know, having six men in the line of scrimmage. You see, this was a man on the on the first punt that was off the line of scrimmage. Now, if we just change and show the next one, which is legal, you see both guys up on the line of scrimmage, and they had seven up there. You have to have seven. So that was the difference between one illegal, B legal. Just in case people were wondering the difference between legal and illegal in punt formation. On first down, far to throw. To Bill Schrader. 
You know, one thing about Bill Schrader, he runs a lot better hook than he does an out. Yes, he and, does. Uh, you know, remember the the out that he he uh, uh, threw out there was intercepted, and the hook because you know he's so big. When he turns, see, he just a hook as you just stop and button hook or hook back towards your quarterback, and he runs that pattern well. The out, not so well. The out, Hitchcock picked off for a Minnesota touchdown. The out went the other way. Yeah. You haven't heard that word in a long time, have you? Button hook? No. Yeah, they used to call it a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Henderson is hammered by Corey Fuller. He knocked him into a complete spinner. Holy moly, that was Dwayne Rudd. I Dwayne mean, watch Rudd, Dwayne yeah. Rudd come up here. I mean, he's going to hit Henderson right there, and he knocked him in a complete 360 twice. Yeah. He did after after Rudd hits him. Watch him. He does two 360s. One 360, two 360s. <laughs> now that is a football hit. That looks. I'm like going to take that guy right to put him in the all Madden team. That right looks like a schoolyard game. School. <laughs> holy, holy! Far made him look like a top. That's home straight ahead with the draw play for. Oh, about four or five, about a yard shy of the first down. You know, if the Minnesota Vikings linebackers hit like that, that guy that asked the question, you know, can the uh, Vikings stop a good runner? Yeah, they have to. And Dwayne Rudd hits a guy like that in a in a 360 degree double spinner. Yep, you sure can. That guy's a heck of a young linebacker, Dwayne Rudd. Schrader got the first down. But Dwayne Rudd is the reason that Ed McDaniel is a middle linebacker. Yep. Remember, Ed McDaniel was a, a weak side linebacker, and they had to get Rudd in there. It was a top draft choice, and so they moved Ed McDaniel in as middle linebacker and put Rudd as a weak side linebacker, and both of them have done extremely well. Because that Ed McDaniel is a player, too. Yes, and he always has been. A real competitor. He's sort of the leader of the defense. Far gets to home. Home hammers across midfield into Viking territory to the 47. Dwayne Rudd made the stop. Rudd's just 22 years old. He's got a great future. Well, and the the thing that he can do is he can get you when you when you run at him, and he can also get you because of his speed when you run away from him. You, you see that they ran away from him, and he just comes right down the yep. line, and then. The other thing about Dwayne Rudd is not only is he quick, but when he gets there, he's a very good tackler. Second. Flag on the play. Brett Favre kept it. Well, there's flags all over the place. There's a plethora of flags. Is that a word, plethora? Plethora? Plethora. Plethora of flags. There's, there's the that means a lot of them. Well, they form a triangle. There's one Fire here, one the over snap. there, and one Ball back. start, offense, right guard. Five yards to remain second down. Look at the play before. Here's Orlando Thomas here trying to trying to get everyone in the in the right position and he doesn't get him. He's trying to get him back and call a play and and luckily yep. the Minnesota Vikings weren't set. Thomas didn't get him set but they just ran right into him. Second and ten. Off the home. Hit by Griffith. You know, you talk about the you know not being able to run and, and, and how it puts a lot of pressure on the quarterback, which it does, but it puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line too because they have to pass the them. Then it puts a lot of pressure on the receivers to get open because you see a lot of nickel defense. And I think one of the reasons this Packer offensive line hasn't been as effective this year as they were last year is that they don't have the top running back that Derek Cohn is giving him a little injection today. He sure is. Two tight ends. Five. He's slung out of bounds shy of the first down. No place to go. Dwayne Rudd. Yep, and that's the speed we were talking about. Dwayne Rudd just took Brett Favre and threw him right into Dennis Green. See again, they can come back like they're playing zone, and then they're fast enough to run. And watch him; he's just going to pull him, twist him, and push him right into the coach. Yep. Do you see him close? 
Wayne Rudd, he is quick. Yeah, because you know, you know, he wasn't up in, in run. He was back in pass defense in a zone, and he had to come out of that and up and make the play. Landetta's kick sails to Palmer, who singles fair catch and makes it at the 17, where Minnesota will take over. The Vikings lead it 20 to 7, with 6:22 left in the third. If we never release a new Porsche 911, the sun will still shine. Life will go on. For the world is quite satisfied with the 911 it has now. Unfortunately, we're not very good at being satisfied. Introducing the new 911. It's everything we know so far, which is a lot. The only thing as exciting as the new action drama, Enemy of the State. Why are they after me? You have something they want! Is the communications technology it features. Target's on 21. This is about me. 20. They know me. 19. 18. Enemy of the State, only in theaters. What the hell is happening? I blew up the building! Why? Because you made a phone call! Experience the excitement with Phillips. Of Italy. Open up. Enterprise rent a car for my trip? Looks expensive. It's not expensive, Mom. They pick us up? Sounds expensive. Pickup's free, Mom. Well, if it's not expensive, why didn't I get a convertible? Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Fox's flick, Big Splash Sunday is Homer's friend in hot water find out on an all-new Simpsons and is getting along with Kiss Cheating. It's a brand new That 70s show. Plus, it's the moment you've waited for on an all-new X-Files. Big Splash Sunday starts tonight with the world's funniest at 7, 6 Central. Here on Fox. The Vikings 20, the Packers 7. Robert Smith, who's been held in check most of the day. See, this is a problem when you play in an indoor stadium on the road. You see what Ross Verba has to do? He can't even look at John Randall. He, he has to look in to see the ball snapped, and then in doing so, by the time the ball is snapped, John Randall is already around him by the yep. time Ross Verba gets his head back. They're all talking about crowd noise and the dome and the problems. That is the biggest problem right there, the offensive tackle. Here comes Cunningham. Pass is caught. Drew Glover, the tight end. And they'll move those sticks. You know, at some point, you have to make the statement about this Minnesota Vikings. So many weapons. Yep. You know, you're talking about Jake Reed and Chris Carter and Randy Moss. And then Andrew Glover, the tight end, comes across here. You see him. He starts over there. Now he just starts across. Randall Cunningham is bootlegging to his left, which is the same side that the tight end is coming across on that to me, has always been the toughest pass to defend in football. The bootleg with the crossing pattern. Here's Cunningham. Here comes the blitz. The ball slipped out of there. That was a corner blitz yep. that time, Pat. That was Tyrone, Tyrone Williams. Williams yep. Tyrone Williams was out here as a corner. Watch him here. He looks like he's going to cover here. Then he's going to sneak up, and then he comes on a blitz. Now, that's a tough one to see. Boy, yeah. I mean, who would expect this to come from here? And that's exactly what he did. He started to slow up a little. Then he saw Cunningham hadn't thrown yet. And hadn't and then, seen him yet. And then yet. he comes with a burst. He's not going to see him. He's not expecting him at all. I mean, of all the guys he expect to come, it's not Tyrone Williams when he was that far off your wide receiver. Second and ten. 501 left third quarter. Cunningham drops. Has time and throws. Picked off by Tyrone Williams. Williams gives the Packers the ball in Minnesota territory. He better watch out. I think that's delay a game or something. Didn't they put a penalty in for that? If they remember it. 
Yeah, but Tyrone Williams, that was a heck of a play. He comes on a blitz to play before that, and then the next play, he intercepts one. And That's Green Bay takes over. Are you concerned about losing more hair? Do you wonder how much further it will go? Do you wish you could do something about it? Well, now there's a pill for men with certain types of hair loss. Introducing Propecia. In clinical studies, the vast majority of men, 83%, maintain their current hair count, and most, 66%, regrew some hair. Take it daily and you could see results in as little as three months. Propecia is for men only. A small number of men experience certain sexual side effects. Each occurred in less than 2% of men. Women who are or may potentially be pregnant must not use it or handle broken tablets because of the risk of a specific kind of birth defect. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist and read the consumer information they can provide. Propecia. Helping make hair loss history. Want to tell me why you were driving backwards, pal? I'm just bringing home some Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza. The pizza you eat backwards. I'm not in the wrong here, am I? You're getting the warning. What? La 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 It's the Pizza Power PlayStation giveaway right now for $9.99. Buy a large one-topping Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza and get a PlayStation demo disc with cool games like Crash Bandicoot Warped and more and a chance to win $200,000. Go on, coppers! Marty's here. Let's see a fuel injector for a Ford Pro. A starter for a Saab. EGR valve for a 74 Gremlin. Ah! See you tomorrow, Marty. Pep boys. Cars like us. People love us. And Allie McNeil looks it over. She needs a strike here, Chip, to finish strong. <laughs> oh, incredible. Allie McNeil. Here's Jake Reed. Here's Tyrone Williams. And you see as Jake Reed comes across, he's going to fall down. This is a guy that Randall Cunningham's trying to throw to. See, Jake Reed goes down there. Randall Cunningham throws the ball anyway. And Tyrone Williams is the only one in that area standing up. Two tight end set up. Tyrone Davis makes the reception from Favre, a low throw. Favre had a hurry. You know, one of the, one of the things about moving the chains that the, you know, that the Packers have have tried to do. They've kind of eliminated their deep passing. In fact, his longest completion, Brett Favre, today is 16 yards. So I think that, you know, sometimes that's good. You know, that ball control, move the chains, get rid of the ball quickly, don't take a sack. But you also have to stretch the defense. Brooks and Freeman are to the right. The handoff is to Holmes, who's hit immediately by Jerry Ball. Yeah, that was the other thing we talked about, the Minnesota Vikings stopping the runners. That's what Jerry Ball is in there for. And that's why it's hard to run inside, because he's in there just as a run stopper. You see him coming out now. If they're going to pass, Jerry Ball's not going to be in there. But if they think it's a run, like on first or second down, he's going to have his whole 350 pounds in that hole. And Jerry Ball is out of there right now, third and six. Here's in such good shape, he doesn't even need a drink on the sideline. Somebody moved in the Packer offensive line. You saw the Vikings pointing, and they'll move them back five. The thing they do is they take that nose tackle, whether it's, it's Jerry Ball or, or in that Fire case, Derek now. Alexander. Ball start, offense, number 63. Five yards remains, third down. Adam Timmerman. And they take as much of the ball. Watch how they get up there in the ball, and I think that gets guys moving. You see that? And the linebacker's yep. moving up there. Now, that isn't to draw them off sides. I mean, they just had had their nose tackle up in the gap, and then they just walk a linebacker up. And sometimes when it's noisy, anything you see move, you think the ball is being snapped. And that's what Adam, Adam right. Timmerman did. Third and 11. Two tight ends for the Packers. Protection is good this time, or was. Randall has far, and down he goes. He's been looking all day. Here's John Randall out here. He's been going all day trying to trying to get out there, trying to get trying to get on, on, on Brent Favre. He started over in the guard, Rivera, and then he goes to Verba, and he really split Let and him. beat both of them. He lined up in that gap between Rivera and Verba. Worked on Rivera first, then Verba, and then got his sack. Landetta's punt sails down to Pollard. Catches it at the nine. 
John Randall had to paint on before the game. He's been fined a couple of times for that. He said it's part of my warm-up regiment. He took it off when the game started. Let's say this is Castrol Syntec motor oil. And this is a harmful particle in your engine. Get the point? You see, Syntex patented stabilizers seek out and neutralize harmful particles, protecting in ways other oils can't. Castrol Syntec, the active lubricant. You guys are in here again? I can't believe this! You're always in here nursing your injuries. I have never seen such a group of cream pops in my life. This is football. I need guys that can play. Man, I thought he'd never leave. With a great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Hot dog, anyone? Alaro by Oldsmobile. Now with special 3.9 financing for 1600 in average finance savings. Alaro by Oldsmobile. Start something. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Proud sponsor of the NFL and official airline of the Super Bowl. By IBM. Are you ready for e-business? By the all-new Alero by Oldsmobile. Start something. And by Citizen. Today more than ever, Citizen is how the world tells time. The Mall of America, you know what used to be there, John? That used to be the old, the uh, old Metropolitan Stadium. stadium. And yeah. Bloomington, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. They call it the old Met. Back there, when uh, I was coached with the Raiders, we played the Vikings in the old Met. Many games there. It could get uh, cold. Moss makes the reception, gets on the ground. Tell you, that was big defense, though, for the, for the Minnesota Vikings last year. Because remember, they had the turnover. Newsom got that interception. And then that was a big break for the Packers. And then that Viking defense went in there and just shut him out. And then, of course, the big third down play was John Randall. And the penalty before that against Green Bay. Right. Randall was a, a tackle in the cane on a stunt with Kylie Long. And uh, that was a big sack. Palmer. Cunningham faked to Palmer, kept the ball, and threw it to Andrew Glover. <laughs> Don't forget Thanksgiving Day. Get a double dose of Fox Sports when Justin Leonard, Monica Sorenstam, and Jim Colbert show off the short games at the Sun Microsystems Par 3 Challenge, followed by the Vikings battle against the Cowboys. It all starts at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Both events fit well on Thanksgiving Day. And one of the things that, you know, you know, the Vikings have, have really been protecting Randall Cunningham, so if they can keep that up, he'll be fresh again for Thursday. Smith. And then, and then we're, we're going to get started right after this game. We're going to get on the bus. This is new bus, by the way. Yeah. And we're going to get on here, and we're going to go down to Dallas. Now, right now, it looks kind of stark. I mean, there's nothing yeah. out there. There's nothing I've in the oven. I have seen it look like that. No, it's stark. It looks stark. But on, on, on Thursday, it's going to be packed with food. We're going to have, like, big old turkeys here. We're going to have all the legs and all the stuff and the stuffing around here. Some of the stuff's going to go out the window, out the door. We're going to have so much stuff there to be unbelievable. Smith from behind on second down by George Koontz. In fact, we're looking for turkeys now. You know, I mean, we haven't gotten uh -oh. them yet. Well, you don't want to. Better I say that. Well, I know. Well, if you, you're a turkey, you won't you have any room to, to sleep. I know. You'll get all turkeys. You want no room for us? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, but we're, we're looking for the one that we're going to get, and the one that we're going to get, we haven't gotten yet. If you know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> There's a lot of nervous turkeys out <laughs> yeah. around this country. Especially those six-legged six -legged turkeys are really nervous. Yeah, some of them, they, they grow them between now and then, too. Here's Cunningham. 
Whistles blow all over the place. Flag on the play. But one of the things that Denny Green was talking about in having to play today and then go play in Dallas. Part of the snap. Ball start. Offense number 84. Five yards remains third down. Now you might have all those all those turkeys. Well, I'm just looking at these. You see what we do is we kind of collect them. And then we feed them to, to fatten them up towards the end. They're looking at you too. And then and then we you know kind of keep them there together to decide who we want. And this one right here, you see, he's kind of looking yeah. to see what's going on, and he's uh, he's kind of interested. <laughs> He'll be tough by next week. <laughs> you may recognize him come Thursday. He looked out of his left eye. I saw that. The pass is caught. By Randy Moss, who got up in the air and got the first down, and the ball was high, but it did, he made it look not high. You know, this guy's not only going to be rookie of the year, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the Pro Bowl. I mean, I mean, I mean the way he moves and speed and, and catches, I mean, he does everything. The other thing that he does is he's a very good blocker. Yeah. I mean, this guy is really the complete package. That's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Vikings 20 to Packers 7. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after a word from your local Fox station. Is Homer's best friend his next meal? A tasty new Simpsons tonight. Imagine TV. Let's check out Mercury's top picks. Here's the starting lineup. The 99 Sable LS Premium Package. Now over 1,500 less than last year's model. Plus no charge leather seating surfaces. And the government's highest crash test rating, five stars. Or the 99 Grand Marquis, Florida's best-selling full-size car. Also with the government's five-star crash test rating. Now with low 4.9% APR financing. This year, the team to beat is at your Mercury dealer. Definitely. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. You can call it a truck. You can call it an SUV. Heck, you can call it Molly. But with the 205 horsepower engine and 80 cubic feet of cargo space, don't call the Isuzu Rodeo a car. It gets mad. Lease an Isuzu Rodeo for $298 a month for 36 months with 1093 due at lease sign. Isuzu. We don't make cars. Dodge Ram was the first and is still the only full-size pickup to be ranked most appealing by J.D. Power & Associates. It was the first to offer a 10-cylinder engine, and it was the first quad cam. And now, for the first time, we're offering $1,000 back on the truck that changed the rules. But hurry, this is one first that won't last. $1,000 cash back on 98 Rams ends November 30th. Frazier, weeknights at 7 on Fox 29. The owner of the Vikings down in the front row, Red McCombs. Circling, John, can you do that? Yeah, right there. Uh, he has brought a lot to this team. That's... Uh, <laughs> He's given a high 10. Yeah. He's never seen the team lose. They didn't lose in preseason, and the one game they lost this year... He was sick and didn't attend. You know, and he's one of the, the good things that have happened to this Viking team this year, I think, is he gave them stability. I mean, he, he came in here, he bought the team, uh, he gave Denny Green an <laughs> extension, he gave all his assistant coaches new contracts, and now everyone in the organization knows Denny Green is and is going to be their coach. The assistant coaches are going to be there. And I'll tell you, there's really a comfort level within the players. Second and 12, the Packers blitzing Cunningham, and down he goes. George Koontz was the first one to get there. Well, George Koontz came from the left side, and he came completely free. I mean, you're going to see number 53. He's out there, and he comes free. No one gets him. There he is right there. And, and they, they had the inside picked up, and yep. picking up the inside, Koontz was the outside guy, and they never did get to him. Third and long. 14 minutes left to play, third and 19. Moss and Carter come right. Four wide receivers set up. Leroy Horde in the backfield. Cunningham calls timeout. 
20 to 7, the Vikings over the Packers. They beat them once. They're trying to do it again. Start. Looking forward. To the drive home. Introducing Alero. Alero by Oldsmobile. Start something. Presenting my lovely wife, Linda. At Transamerica, we have insurance products and investments for all kinds of families, no matter how much risk you're willing to take. The people in the pyramid working for you. Can you believe the price of popcorn? It's a crime against humanity. Everything costs an arm and a leg. Uh, not everything. You can get all your long distance calls for under a buck. He's talking about 10, 10, 2, 20. Dial it and talk up to 20 minutes for only 99 cents. Behold the golden child. Talk over 20 minutes, then what? Yeah, and then what? It's just 10 cents for each extra minute. That's cheap. How is it possible? How does popcorn pop? Who cares? Yeah, just dial 10, 10, 2, 20 and talk up to 20 minutes for only 99 cents. You're stuck to the floor, aren't you? With Transamerica Investments and Insurance Products, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to plan for your financial future. The people in the pyramid working for you. Should you tell your girlfriend about the older woman in your life? I think I gotta tell Donna. On behalf of men everywhere? That 70s show, all new tonight before the X-Files. Minnesota leading Green Bay 20 to 7. 13.53 left to play in the contest. And the Cowboys face these Vikings on Thanksgiving Day. John and I will be there. Coverage begins at 3.30, 12.30 East uh, Pacific time, sorry. And right now, the Cowboys are winning in the third quarter, 16-14 over Seattle. So both, both teams who will be in Dallas on Thanksgiving Day, at the moment at least, are winning. Cunningham throw it as far as he can. Moss complete good job by Darren Sharper there was playing corner right now for an NFL update let's return to Joe Buck in Los Angeles all right Pat in Atlanta down 13 to 3 Chris Chandler will find Terrence Mathis in the back of the end zone a 13 yard Come touchdown on. throw running back Jamal Anderson only 12 yards at the half a big 15 yard run on that drive it's now a three point Chicago lead at the start of the fourth quarter here's Pat and John and we're back at the Metrodome and Minneapolis. Berger back to punt and another good kick. But Preston is going to have a chance with this one. Look out. Good coverage and the fans thought there was an illegal block in the back and there might have been as I see a flag sign come down but they took it back. to seven Minnesota leading it all began with its solid form design now that design is achieving some very solid results presenting the most solid Grand Am ever for the most solid ride of your life and now Grand Am has been ranked the most appealing entry midsize car by JD Power and Associates it's excitement well built Grand Am by Pontiac Get into a well-equipped Grand Am today for only $2.29 a month and drive away with one solid deal.
La Fabula has just created the little black dress that will change everything. The magazines have created a frenzy, and you have sworn that your stores will be the first to carry it. Enter UPS. Customs gets cleared electronically. The global network kicks in. Also that at the same time, on the same day, the dresses arrive from Europe to each of your stores nationwide. Success is a beautiful thing. Nice dress. UPS, moving at the speed of business. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by the Grand Am with solid form design. It's excitement, well built from Pontiac. By Paramount Pictures Star Trek Insurrection. Starts Friday, December 11th, rated PG. By Transamerica, the people in the pyramid working for you. And by Intel, makers of the amazing Pentium 2 processor. Back at the Metrodome, Pat Summerall with John Madden. Packers have the ball first and 10 at their own 29. Haven't seen any blue cheese before. Green hair. Yeah, big games. Central division, yeah. rivalries. Bring out the best in the garb, the festive garb. I guess that was purple cheese, not blue cheese. No, that was purple cheese, yeah. yeah. That's the Vikings form of cheese. Five gets it out to Holmes. Holmes gets close to a first down. He might have it. You know, Derek Holmes is doing his part, and, and the and the thing that the that the Packers really aren't doing is stretching this defense. See who made, could, excuse me, go ahead. No, I was just saying if you could see 15 yards, he's only completed one pass for 16, more than 16 yards. He completed one in the left, one in the middle, and none out here to the right. You see, all his passes have been completed under 15. So what happens is, is the defense could start to scoot up on you. And I think that's what the Vikings are doing to the Packers. I think somewhere they're going to have to stretch this defense a little. Did you see who made the tackle on that pass completion? Jerry Ball, 10 yards downfield. You know, that's one thing about Jerry Ball. You know, I mean, you think about him, but he is a quick guy. I mean, you think because he's a big guy that he can't move, but he can move, and he's very quick. And here he starts on the screen, and he's right there. And he comes, yeah. and he clubbed old Terry Cole right from behind. But he's one of those guys, a lot like Nate Newton. Remember when yeah. Nate Newton was heavy? He still had very light and very quick feet. In fact, Jerry Ball in high school was a running back. I remember we've seen old films of him as a running back. Here's Favre back to throw. And again, he has time. Pass complete. That's to Schrader again. And that's another Packer first down. You know, I don't know that Robert Brooks has caught a pass today. You think of yes, you, know, he you think, One, I of, think. The, of the receivers, you think of Antonio Freeman and, and Brooks, and the guy who's catching the passes is Schrader. I mean, Schrader has caught those hooks, and then the, he's the guy that's a go-to guy now. Brooks has caught two. First down on one of them, I recall. First and ten. Green Bay at the Minnesota 45. Barr again back to throw. And again it's short, and again it's Schrader. About a yard short, it looks like. And again, old Jerry Ball's right down there to yeah. stop him. Yeah. Right. If Schrader's going to catch that, uh, and he, he thinks he's going to go any further than that, Jerry Jerry Ball's right down there to say, well, this is, as, this is as far as you're going with that pass reception. But, you know, 20 to 7, I mean, the Packers still have, have, oh, yeah. have plenty of time. I mean, you know, time is not an issue here. They just have to keep getting first down and keep going like this. Holmes bangs ahead for the first down. Stopped by Dwayne Rudd. I think key word being bangs. I mean, that's that's one thing that has impressed me about Gary Combs is, is the way that he has banged it in there today. I mean, he gets those shoulders square, and he gets those piles going backwards. He's glad to be playing. And it shows. Henderson in front of Holmes. Oops. Somebody jumped. One of the things, because of this noise, Brett Favre was telling us last night that they're going to go in the same snap count every play. Because he doesn't want to be changing snap counts and audibleizing because his guys won't be able to Prior hear. Right to the snap. Ball start. Offense from the snapper. Five yards. Remain. First down. 
the snapper is the center, and what they're saying is that Frank Winters moved before the ball moved. Now see if he right. You got. You, you see he did. He yeah, flinched. He, did. he moved his shoulders and and his hips and left the ball where it was. I saw someone here in this crowd today, Pat, before the game, and it had a bag of donuts jersey on. Uh, yeah. The guy calls up old bag of donuts, and that that's Frank Winters, old bag of donuts in there, snapper. The official called a penalty on the snapper. Barb retreats. Trying to screen to Holmes. Looked like Burba fell down between Favre and Holmes. And he didn't quite have a free look at it. And that's exactly what happened. Verba, because on the side of the screen, the tackle to that side tries to cut his guy to get his hands down. And I think he just got in the way. See, now Verba's here. Now, when you're going to throw the screen to this side, right there, you try and cut the guy. And that's exactly what he tried to do. He tried to cut Kylie Wong, but then, but then he was right in the way of Derek Holmes. Second and 15. Crucial downs now. Now it's Chamura on the move. A flag on the play as far as gets the ball to Chamura down to the 30. Penalty flag down. Again, that noise, maybe it doesn't sound as loud as it really is. But it's having an effect on the Packers for sure. Well, it's having an effect, whether it's it's real or imagined. The, the Packers are really having trouble with this. Offense, the left tackle was not on the line of scrimmage. Five-yard penalty. It remains second down. Jerry Ball spoke to us yesterday yesterday about the advantage of the crowd noise in the Metrodome. I think that it helps any team, especially in the third and short situations or when, you know, the quarterback is trying to make audibles and everyone can hear. And if we can create a factor with the noise, you know, it makes it difficult because, you know, now they have to go off of a sight type of snap versus a sound. Well, they've made it difficult. Here's that screen pass again to Holmes. Spins away from one. Is taken down at the 40. You know, that was the same play that uh, Russ Verber got in the way before. Yep. And again, it was Kylie Wong. He had to cut him again. That time he cut him. He kind of missed him. But but Derek Holmes knew and got away from him. Here's Verba. Now he gets back. You see, he cuts right there. And this time, Derek Holmes got in front of Verba, who was flopping around on the ground. But again, this defense is so fast and has so much speed and tackles so well that you're not going to make a living running screens on it. That's Ed McDaniel, the middle linebacker, who ran it down. Three wide receivers. Far gets away from one. Randall chasing. One-handed catch by Henderson, and Henderson will get a first down. What well, was that a play? First of all, by Brett Favre, and then by William Henderson. And, and oh, look at Brett Favre's left finger. Ed, dislocated. Yep. They're going to pull it right back in, too. Usually, usually what you do is you turn your head when they do that. Oh, Brett Favre is watching. Yes, they're going to bring it back after that courageous first down, but a catch by Henderson. I don't know that Brett Favre can stay in on that play because the trainers came out in the field and usually you have to go out one play. Doug Peterson's getting ready on the sideline. He's got a ball in his hand in case that does happen. I think he has to come in for a play because Brett Favre was injured on the play, made a heck of a throw. Henderson made a heck of a catch. The trainers came on the field and then the quarterback has to go out for one play. Well, they haven't taken him out yet. You talk about a tough guy. I mean, Brett Favre, even if they don't make him take him out, it, the guy can get, I think the officials just missed that one. I think so. But the guy can get a, a dislocated finger and not miss a play, and then watch him put that whole thing in. Wow. But that whole play went for nothing because that penalty again was against the Green Bay Packers. Henderson had the first down. Chamora goes in motion. Favre retreats. Fires. Chamora, not enough for the first. But it's caught by Mark Chamora inside the 30. 
You know, and again, with nine minutes to go here, it looks like the Packers are going to go for it, but I think you kick a field goal in this situation. And, you know, because you are going to get the ball back, but the Packers have already decided. You can tell Mike Holmgren is looking at the play, and he wasn't looking at his field goal team. 20 to 7 the score, fourth and about four. I would rather kick a field goal and get the game within 10 points than take a chance here. Barbs call the timeout. And the Packers will have two left. 20 to 7 Viking. We have a cinnamon macadamia encrusted sea bass and a warm banana chutney. Looking for something Today's really delicious? Painted chicken neck with the mango habanero mojo and sauce romanesco. Sauce what? <laughs> We recommend Wendy's new Steakhouse Bacon Cheeseburger, a naturally smoked blend of Swiss and cheddar bacon and sautéed onions in a savory steak sauce. And finally, a warm lobster cappuccino. Lobster cappuccino? Lobster cappuccino. I hear it. I just don't believe it. Wendy's new Steakhouse Bacon Cheeseburger. Dig in. If you've been thinking about jumping into a rugged new Montana, I need more room! Now's a really good time. Never seen a minivan do that before. Maybe it's not really a minivan. Life was more exciting in Montana. Now jump into a rugged Montana with this limited time offer, but get a move on because the train's leaving the station. See your Pontiac dealer today. You look pretty tonight. Thank you. Like a butterfly. Or a soft peach whose supple texture is honest and beautiful. And I think we pair well. Me too. But a soft peach, huh? <laughs> Gossamer Bay. The wine says a lot. See it again. <laughs> it's coming back! With your eyes wide open. The Lost World Jurassic Park. Fox Wednesday. Mike Holmgren has come out on the field to talk to Brett Favre. Because this is such a big play for the Green Bay Packers and Mike Holmgren and Brett Favre and the whole organization. Well, he's not supposed to do this, is he? No, no, of course he's not supposed to do it. But Brett Favre, after he was hurt and the trainers came out and took care of him in the field, he had to go out and play too, but the officials didn't see that. So they must not be looking over there to their right. <laughs> must not be. A lot of stuff going on here they've missed. Three wideouts go right. And a flag on the play. Yep, uh, that one, a penalty. That's Earl Dotson. The right tackle. He moved on that one. Full start. Again, the noise. The noise takes a toll. Yep, he moved way early on that one. Watch him. Here's number 72, Earl Dotson. See, he moved already. Yeah, and he was looking in, and I think that he was he was trying to get back because, you know, when a guy's outside of you and you're worried about a speed rush, the first thing you have to do is get out of your stance quickly. A noise again, and let's see if they get it snapped on time quick now. Barb is going to take off a flag on the play. Comes flying back. Barb got the first down with the scramble. And that's going to be in the area of offensive holding, Pat. Yep. Think of all the things that have happened against the Green Bay Packers today. And, you know, they get a play and they get an injury and then they have a penalty and they bring it back to get another play, another Fire penalty. Snap. False start. Offense, two. I did not see anybody move that time. They are saying Earl Dotson. Yep. Here's Earl Dotson here. The right, right there, he moved already. You see? He moved way before. In fact, that's the same thing that he did, the exact same thing he did on the play before that. Before Barb even put his hands yeah. under, under the center, he moved. And it looked like, you know, once he gets down and gets set, he can't move at all. You know, I think that he was arguing that he was just getting set, that he wasn't even down yet, that that wasn't part of the, of the snap that was part of his pre-snap getting down is what Earl Dotson is arguing. That's three of those penalties I can recall in this series. Well, Frank Winters had that one, remember, yeah. for moving. 
Two on Dotson. Yeah, Burba had one for lining up in the backfield. Yep. Fourth and 14 they need, and Favre has the pass complete. They got the first down to Bill Strader. What a player Brett Favre is, isn't he? I mean, in the last last three years, the MVP, last year the co-MVP. But if you're going to pass, you got to block John Randall. Ross Burbitt does it on that play with help from William Anderson. Anderson. That's the thing. They know that they got to get him blocked that backside. And then you give you give Brett Favre a little time, and he can find guys open like that. 8:27 left. Favre retreats. Has time this time. Gets it to Freeman, and Freeman cuts back inside the five to the two. Ed McDaniel made the stop. It'll be first and goal from there. Yeah, and, and now I think that Brett Favre realizes that you know you can't do a lot of running. It's going to rely on him. He's putting it on his shoulders. And then, and then one of his guys, his go-to guy now is Antonio Freeman. So he runs him in across. He starts over on the left, runs all the way across the field on the right, and catches that ball. And, and he, he, did you see that shot he almost took? Yes, yeah. I did. That's why you have to have your head on a swivel with shots like that flying around you. First and goal at the two. Barb. Touchdown, Tyrone Davis. His second of the day. I think last week, two this is the week. thing that Brent Favre does so well, though, as he goes limping off the field. What a warrior he is. And he's the one, I mean, he bought time on that, you know, so that Ty Davis could get open. But, I mean, he dislocates his finger. He has to complete, like, three fourth down passes. He knows that it's on his shoulder, and he's have to do it. And he looks like a guy who's been at war, doesn't yep. he? He looks like uh, he's glad that round is over. So I can get back to my corner for a moment. He needs Luke Duva in there. <laughs> the kick is good. It's 20 to 14. Seven and a half minutes left. Evan Petty calls it hot, deliciously hot. Rob DeMoss raves, it's spontaneous consumption. It's a story of heat and redemption. From the creators of the Domino's Heat Wave, an epic author. Order a deliciously hot Domino's pizza. Get a free movie rental from Blockbuster Video when you rent another. Hot Domino's pizza, a hot movie from Blockbuster Video. If you can't take the heat, get out of the doorway. Now get two medium pizzas with up to three toppings for $13.99. Domino's, delivering a million smiles a day. When can you come home? I don't know. I miss you. I miss you, too. With the exceptional purchase power of Visa Platinum, you can throw caution to the wind and fly across an ocean to be with the one you need, the one you miss, the one you love. Hello? And so can she. I miss you. I miss you, too. As often as it takes. Visa Platinum, it's everywhere you want to be. The truck. The award. The new Chevy Silverado. The Motor Trend Truck of the Year. It's bigger, it's more powerful. It's the truck from Chevrolet. Is Homer's best friend his next meal? Yeah. It's Marge. Look at the little guy. Ow. A tasty new Simpsons tonight at 8, 7 central. Back at the Metrodome. The Vikings 20, the Packers 14. A courageous, courageous performance by Brett Favre. They, they've been working on him. Look at that. Yeah. Checking, checking his vision. They, they, they gave him smelling salts earlier. Yep. As you said, he took some, some real hits on that drive as he was leading his team down to a touchdown. Longwell to kick it off. This is good and deep to Palmer, who's going to bring it out from four yards deep in the end zone. Away from one, away from two, still on his feet. And the Packers finally converge at the 21. Among Holland Quest. Stop David Palmer.
Chris Worth, animator, knows good, knows evil, knows that having a formidable partner is definitely good. Chevy S10, like a rock. Circuit City and DirecTV want you to catch all the football action this year. Right now, when you buy a DirecTV system and subscribe to Total Choice Programming, you'll get the last six weeks of 98 NFL Sunday ticket free. Plus, get a free self-install kit or professional installation for only $99. And get a second receiver for just $99. DirecTV delivers NFL Sunday ticket, and you'll get the last six weeks free with your new DirecTV system. Plug into low prices all over the store today at Circuit City. Tired of financial companies that make you feel small and unimportant? No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Then sit down with a MetLife financial professional to discuss your financial future. Get Met. It pays. There are other ways to get to work, but... Nah. Should you tell your girlfriend about the older woman in your life? I think I gotta tell Donna. On behalf of men everywhere? That 70s show, all new tonight before the X-Files. 20 to 14, Minnesota. This is on the sideline a moment ago, Brett Favre. And the smelling salts hit home. Here is the, the pass, the touchdown pass to Davis. And yeah. look, look at the hit that he took after he threw that. But if he didn't run like that, Tyrone Davis wouldn't have been open like he was for the touchdown. 7-19 left. First and 10, Vikings at their own 21. Long count for Cunningham, who's going to put it up. Pass is caught by Robert Smith. And right now for an NFL update, let's return to Joe Buck in Los Angeles. All right, Pat, in Atlanta, 14 unanswered points for the Falcons, including this 11-yard touchdown catch by Todd Kinchin. Great catch. Falcons now up by four in the fourth quarter. But the terrible news, Chris Chandler just left with an apparent right knee injury. It's now 44-year-old Steve DeBerg in a quarterback for Atlanta. Back to Minneapolis, Pat and John. There's Reggie White on the on the ground pad. He was the guy that deflected the ball. Watch Reggie White here. Going to run a screen pass. I think we've seen more screen passes yep. in this game than any game I can remember in a long time. And you see right there, he gets his hand up. And that's what you try and do. That's the way you teach a defensive lineman, that you start to rush. And then when, when the guy goes down for your knees, you just push him down and you go up. And that's what Reggie did. And then the ball was deflected. Robert Smith got the ball. and. Reggie looked like he got a little air knocked out of him. And he's headed for the sideline. But what a year he's had. I mean, Long Booker. Yeah, Reggie White is going to retire this year. It's his last year, but I'll tell you, he's making this last one a good one, isn't he? Spectacular career, and this is just topping it off. Second down, about nine. Cunningham again to throw it. Gets it deep, and the pass is caught. That's Chris Carter, who stays on his feet and fights into Packer territory. Finally gotten out of bounds by Tyrone Williams. Yeah, that's one thing that these Vikings do, is every time the Packers do something and start getting a little momentum back, here come the Minnesota Vikings, Randall Cunningham coming right back after him, even though they're going to bring holding. this back because there's a penalty. Offense number 73. And it's going to be holding against Todd Stucy. Todd Stucy's done an excellent job over there on Bonnie Holiday all day. He really has. Todd Stucy's one of the, the best tackles in football. You can see him. He's right here. He's a left tackle. Like he looked like he moved a little early there. Yeah, didn't he? Yep, you see, and he yep. grabbed Bonnie Holiday right at the end, and that's right in front of the referee. And that's one of the things you don't do. Yep, I mean, his hands were okay. He had him inside the plane all right, and then as Holiday started to go to the outside, he just grabbed him. Reggie White's back, second and 19. And the green is upset with the officiating, but Todd Stucy did hold Bonnie Holiday. 20 to 14, the clock running at 6-11, 6-10 now, make it. The rush pass is complete to Glover. And they get back to about the original line of scrimmage. It'll be third down. 
You know, in this league, that's why the quarterback has to be able to move. You know, they, they just yeah. to buy a little time. We saw what Brett Favre did down there in the touchdown. We saw what Randall Cunningham did on that play. That you don't have to run. You don't have to be a scrambler. You just have to be able to move around in pocket, and then you can get some big, big plays. I think the days of the guys who just dropped back the water fields, the Van Brocklins to go back, those that just stood in the pocket, they're not here anymore. Those days are over. I mean, you can't do that. You don't have to be able, like I said, to run sprint outs and all that stuff, but you do have to be able to move in the pocket. Cunningham. I don't know. Randy Moss came down with it above everybody else. How in the heck did he do that? He jumped over everybody. Yeah, the, the Packers knew that he could do that if they played man-to-man. -man. But watch the guys around Randy Moss. They're playing zone. And watch the Packers around him. There's three Packers there. Yep. How Randall Cunningham got that ball in there, I have no idea. But look at Randy Moss. I mean, he just jumps up over everyone's helmet and just flicks the ball right out of the air. Moss, seven catches, 104 yards. He's a guy, I'd, I'd take him on my team right yeah. now. Woo. Would you like to draft again and take him on your team? Here's Smith. And Robert Smith gets close to midfield and the Packers. You know, that's the thing that everyone's talking about. You know, Randy Moss wasn't drafted in the first round until the 21st pick. And everyone is saying, dude, we should have taken him, but I mean, I think the good news for Randy Moss was that he was drafted in the 21st pick so he could play for the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah. That was funny. Holiday just departed. McKenzie has taken his place. Second and two. Todd Stucy had really has really done an excellent job of blocking Bonnie Holiday over there all day. Here's the Packers number one choice. Smith is going to be close to a first down. You know, this is this is what you expect when you get yep. two Central Division teams. You know the black and blue and all that. This is a heck of a battle. I mean these guys have really been going after each other and. And one of the things the Packers wanted to do and have been successful is stopping this guy, Robert Smith. This is the way a rivalry, and believe me, in this part of the country and all over the NFL, this is a very serious rivalry. And that's what the NFL needs. Yep. I and mean, that's what makes the NFL great, is, is when you have rivalry games and then they're meaningful games. And they live up to the expectations. Let's just hear Robert Smith needs that, that extra yard. Watch him right at the end here. Bernardo Harris has a shot at him. They take it, and he just keeps his feet moving. You see, by keeping his feet moving and getting those extra three steps, that was what picked up yep. the first down. Clock running. Green Bay has not been swept by an opponent since 1993 when Minnesota did it. You know, and they've dominated this division the last three or four years, been to the Super Bowl two years, and... They went now. Minnesota's trying to take it away from him. Cunningham going deep for Moss. Moss has got it. Touchdown. What do you do? Jump in the stands. I don't know what you what do. What the player this guy is. Well, that's what Randall Cunningham says. He, yep. says. he says he says all the time. Just chunk it in the end zone. Chunk it in the end zone and I'll get it. And Randall Cunningham listened to him because that's exactly what he did. He chunked it in the end zone. He flung it. Are you kidding me? Chunked it. Whatever. That's his eighth reception today. Whew. He had two guys around him. Well, you know, the thing that this guy could do is not only can he can he jump and get open, but he can run faster than anyone on the field. That's a pretty good package, isn't it? Yeah, and two games against the uh, Packers, he's been a Packer killer. Minnesota's taking a timeout. But, you know, you always say don't throw into double coverage. Watch the safety. Throw away from the safety. But here's the safety, and here's Randy Moss, yeah. and he just splits them. Earlier, he did it with his jumping. That way, Rod Smith is right there. He just gets right inside of Smith. Turns Smith around and he catches that ball before Darren Sharper can and get over Cunningham there. Cunningham got it in there to him. Let yep. him do what he does. Yep, he chunked it. Yeah, that all you have to do is chunk it down there. I'll get it. 
four out of four for 79 yards on that drive for Randall Cunningham. Yeah, I was watching Randy Moss in practice the other day, yeah. and he takes all the offensive plays, and then he takes all the scout team plays. I mean, he's, he, I mean, he has a motor that can go all day. Well, he has some youth in that motor. Just 21 years old. You know, you remember when Jerry Rice was a rookie? Sure. I think Randy Moss as a rookie is better than Jerry Rice was as a rookie. Cunningham gets the two. Randall Cunningham rolls into the end zone, points to the sky as he tacks on two more for Minnesota. Joe Bootleg. Watch it. The back is going to go this way. Randall Cunningham fakes and goes the other way. Everyone comes in. There's no one in the Packers. They're playing out here. They're, they're, they're playing against Carter, thinking yep. it's a pass, a bootleg pass, and Randall and Randall Cunningham ran right in behind him. 28-14. You know what he did is he faked nine of the guys. Yep. Two of the guys covered Chris Carter, and there was no one left. Welcome to the new title town, and the way these Vikings look, you could be right. And that's what we could be seeing today is a changing of the guard. Now watch what happens over here. This is going to be the side of the bootleg. You see, and you, and you see the coverage here. Everyone is covering. See, they're covering, covering, covering. In fact, I think uh, Chris Carter held one of those cover <laughs> guys. Did. And there was no one left for Randall Cunningham. It's a very subtle. And, and there's a guy right there. That's Brian Billick. He's the offensive coordinator. And he's kind of the architect yep. of this offense. And what an offense he has this year. What a candidate he is to be a head coach somewhere. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot of openings, doesn't yep, there? Sure does. Preston at the goal line. Taken down at about the 14 by good coverage from Minnesota. Watch out, Dallas, huh? Yep. I mean, I don't know that, you know, in the pregame show we talked and someone asked if the Minnesota Vikings are for real, and I asked you. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you asked me. That, I said, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that they are for real because they have the total package. I mean, there's Coach Fazio there, you know, you know, going over his defense and what a job he's done yeah. of defending this Green Bay Packer team because, you know, you know, Brett Favre, you're always in a fight, but the job that he's done and mixing them up, the job that Red McCombs has done and giving stability to this Red, organization. Red's still nervous. He, he hasn't relaxed yet with a two-touchdown lead against this guy. You can't. Brett Favre gets it to Tremor first down. Flag on the play. Hey, this is this is not like a Green Bay Packer team to have have this many penalties. It's I mean, not, is it? And you know, Brett Favre, with the penalties to drive 50 yards, has almost had to pick up 150 yards. Illegal hand to the face, offense number 63. Half the distance to the goal line, still first down. Half the distance back to the goal line. Here's Adam Timmerman, the right guard there. And you see, that's a tough thing because you start in the shoulder pads and you just see as you start, you know, sometimes your, your punch, as you go to punch the shoulder pads, will go right up to the helmet. And that's what happened to Timmerman on that play. Cunningham and Moss. What a weapon Randy Moss is. That is darn near lethal. Barb throws behind Derek Holmes. Just as well, he was well covered. Today's game is being produced by Bob Stenner and directed by Sandy Grossman. Associate Director Mike Roy. The broadcast associates are Fran Morrison and Charles McDonald. Technical producers Bob Muller. The studio is produced by Scott Ackerson, directed by Bob Levy. The associate director was Jennifer Love. The senior producers Bill Brown. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. retreats outside the Henderson you know it's interesting Pat but the thing that got the Packers in trouble in the first half was a turnover yeah the thing that got them in trouble in the second half was a penalty 
They've had nine penalties in today's game, and they've all been in the second half. So, you know, and, and part of that has been caused by the noise. But I'll tell you, you can't take away from the job this Minnesota no, Vikings sir. defense has done. A big part of it has been that, too. A big part of it has been that guy and his buddy, Randy Moss. Barb gets it to Royal Preston. Preston, enough for a first down. Clock continues to run, heading at the two-minute warning. Green Bay has two timeouts left, but Barb has a lot of work to do in a very short amount of time. Two minutes, 28-14, Minnesota. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Miller Highlight. When someone prepares a nice supper, you don't want the effort ruined by uneven legs on a chair or table. Use this coaster to shim these hallmarks of poor craftsmanship. After that, dig in to show your appreciation. That's living the high life. Welcome to the world of Panasonic Sonic Shaving, the new linear razor. At 12,000 RPMs, it's the world's fastest shaving system. Shave wet or dry. Panasonic, get up to speed. Is that Johnson's team behind us? Exactly. Are they members of Hertz number one club gold? Exactly. Are members of Hertz number not, one? Not, not exactly. So thanks to Hertz, they're gonna get to the meeting on time. And we'll be late. So exactly what will I tell the boss? Hmm? In rent a car, this hurts and does not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. And then a dog in the cargo hold ate our presentation. <laughs> Is he buying it? <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> For years, Intel technicians have been making PCs smarter. Now they face their greatest challenge ever. Hey, no one messes with my brain until I get sprinkles. <laughs> Suckers. Now anyone can have all the brain power they want. Just look for a PC with an Intel processor inside. By eliminating covalence inhibitors, we create triple-dense carbohydrates and thus the so-called super donut. Ooh. Many of you mock my interest in the pastry sciences. What do you have inside? No! A mind blower. A tour de force episode. The moment you've been waiting for. The X-Files, an all-new episode tonight at 9, 8 central on Fox. Back at the Metrodome, Pat Summerall with John Madden, 28-14, Minnesota leading Green Bay. It was 20-14. The Packers moved closer on a very courageous drive by the Pack and Brett Favre. And Minnesota answered quickly. And Green Bay needs another courageous drive here so that they can get a shot at an onside yeah. kick and try and get two scores. Many of these, these people in Minnesota yeah. are fired up. They got a, a new governor and Jesse Ventura, Jesse the Body Ventura. In fact, they got T-shirts and bumper stickers all over the town that says, my governor can beat up your governor. I think they're probably right. I don't know what the holdup is. Well, the officials are all down here in a bunch about the 40-yard line. There's the four officials there, so you know that uh, the game can't be played because the officials are down here huddling up. See something wrong with the clock. Dallas has moved well ahead of Seattle, and they'll match against these Vikings on Thanksgiving Day. Dallas has won the last three times the two have played. But this is a different Minnesota team. We'll be there, John, with the turkey in the game. And I was just going to say, Dallas hasn't played this Minnesota team. Right. I think it's a different Dallas team and a different Minnesota team. Randall Cunningham, a different quarterback from those days in Philadelphia and a different human being, as we said before. And, you know, and he got through this game fresh, and that was yep. the thing that... We were talking about earlier that Denny Green said, you know, having a short week, because they're going to be off Monday, practice Tuesday, and fly to Dallas on Wednesday. Right. He said it's important that Cunningham doesn't get beat up in this game. There's five of the middle to Bill Schrader. 
And again, Favre is that guy. I mean, he's competitive. I mean, you may beat him, but he's he's not going to go down. That's right. He's not going to go away easily. The Henderson who lost the ball and the Vikings have it. Dwayne Rudd came up with it. I think it's just fitting that Dwayne Rudd came up with it. If there's a defensive MVP in this game, it has to be Dwayne Rudd. I mean, he has been all over the field. He's made tackles all over here. And here you can see that William Henderson is hit. His knee isn't down. See, the ball comes out before he's down. Dwayne Rudd is right there to pick it up. Hit by the other linebacker. Ed McDaniel. Yeah, I think I think those two have been yeah. very formidable today. And um, John Randall gets a lot of play, and John Randall is a great player. And but I think today was about linebackers, Ed McDaniel, Dwayne Rudd. Dwayne Rudd had a bad shoulder, wore a brace on it for a while, a harness. That wasn't very effective, and it affected his play. Yeah, it affected his balance. Yep. Yeah. But now he's gotten rid of the harness and he is playing extremely well. Leroy Horn battles straight ahead. You know, I know you don't get anything for the, you know, this point in the season, but you have to say that right now the Minnesota Vikings are the best team in the NFC. And I think that you would have an argument with, you know, the Denver Broncos, who's the best team in football, but I think the way they're playing right now with these two teams, the Vikings and the Denver Broncos, are the two best teams in all of football. Minnesota now 20, 10 and 1. We haven't seen Atlanta. They've been playing extremely well. Yeah, but they're not in this team's class. No, I mean, this so. team has way too much speed on defense, and then those offensive weapons that they have are something are extra special. And Mike Holmgren has probably seen it coming. You know, that when they started to get a little defensive help, they start, you know, Dwayne Rudd gets another year under him. Randall Cunningham comes in and has the type of year he does. And then they add Randy Moss. Yeah, then they add Randy Moss. I think everyone in this league, I think their eyes look yeah. up. It's time for hugging. If you're wearing purple. And we're talking about guys that have motor. Randy Moss has a great motor, but so does that John Randall yes, who we just saw. Yeah. These Vikings are, are something special. Yep. And Denny Green, don't forget what a job he's done. He yeah. has really put things together. You know what he's done here? He's created a place that the players are very happy with. The players love playing in this town, in this stadium, for this organization. And let's go down to Pam Oliver right now, who's with Denny. All right, thanks a lot, Pat. Uh, Denny, I think it's safe to say there's been a shift in the NFC Central. How key was this game today? Well, we feel great because we played tremendous defense. I think any time you hold a team to 14 points, you're playing good defense. And then we made a couple big plays. Uh, the whole thing is we just battled well. We had a good all-around effort. Quick turnaround for you. you got the Thanksgiving game against yeah. Dallas. Well, hopefully we're not too sore and too beat up. We know what that was all about. Just in case we got to march all night and then be ready to fight all day. Can you sum up Randy Moss? I mean, this kid is phenomenal. He's phenomenal because he has a great work ethic. He is a great competitor. Uh, he's a guy who can always go to, and I think that with he and Chris Carter, Jake Reed, Robert Smith, and Glover gives that combination with Randall Cunningham offensively, and then a much improving week-by-week -week defense. We're hoping that we can uh, get out and just keep it going. I think Randall Cunningham surprises a lot of people week in and week out, but probably not you. Well, he doesn't surprise me because he comes to us with great faith that this was a great spot for him. He, he left the game. He didn't feel great about it. He comes back into the game now, really as a gift to us, to be honest with you. A man with great faith and a great understanding of what he wants to accomplish. And it's a shining example for all of America. Great job. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Let's go back up to Pat. All right, Pam. Thank you very much. So for John Madden, I'm Pat Summerall saying so long from the Metrodome. Where the final score is the Vikings 28, the Packers 14. We'll send you back to the Fox Network Center in Los Angeles with Joe Buck and Ron Pitts with scores from around the league after these messages.